I went to a, a public restroom the other day and there was a bowl with a big fat log of shit in it and then there was a I did that Joe Biden sticker. <laughs> Uh, 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 welcome to the Regurgitated Podcast. Don't click off. Don't click off. Don't click off. Don't I click promise off. you this isn't just a shitty little Discord thing where no things are. I promise you there's things. There's things. Stay with me. Stay with me. Uh, brought to you by... Go ahead. I just get into it, dude. Um, so we have new equipment. Geico. Geico. We have new equipment. Um, new equipment. And I have a Philly cheesesteak. I'll make a way both both Philly cheesesteak in front of me. Well, I want to see your fucking Philly cheesesteak, dude, which is coincidentally the first thing I said to you, but I didn't mean it like that. Right. So I guess uh, uh, in... Oh, well, I'm in the wrong one. I guess in three, two, one, we can say... <clears throat> you can see my Philly cheesesteak. All right? Three, okay. two, one... Wait, I don't know what camera it has Yours set is up. Not. Turn it on. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Hey. Uh, 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 uh. Looking good. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Quality. What the hell? Wow. Are your lights Do you on? Have your new yeah, my lights are on. My yeah, lights this are is on. the brightest. Turn it up, dude. You're dark. Am I dark? You're a little dark. It's, it's the lightest they go. Which is not a bad thing. Whoa. Wait. Wait. Why is my thing fucking up? Hold on. <laughs> Classic Zach. No, it's my computer, though. It's not even my camera. Whoa. Hold on. Whoa. Whoa. Look at this shirt again. Wait. Look at the shirt for the I first time. I told you not to click off. It's backwards on my screen. That's fine. Read it. Try to read it backwards. It says... Siami Yayamo Neb 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 Niamo Kapa. Yep. That's right. I got this in the mail. I said, I don't my my dad's like, oh, do you get a shirt? I said, I don't know, I guess. And I showed him the shirt. He said, What the fuck did you get buy? And I was like, I did not buy. It. I have no idea what that wait, wait, is. Wait. Was this before or after I sent you that message this morning? <clears throat> wait, but was this, this was yesterday. I got a bug in my room. Okay, so good. I wanted it to be so I got apparently we're dealing with bugs today. Um, I wanted it to be like a bit of a surprise. Like, I didn't even really want it to be a part of the show necessarily when I first purchased it. I just workshopped an idea and I was yeah. like, I'm just going to I'm just going to troll, do a little trolling. That's what they call it. They say we're going to do a little trolling. I'll well, you trolled me a little bit in there. You trolled um, me a little bit. Actually, speaking of trolling people, I'm going to troll you uh, uh, real quick. You see that crack, guys? Dude, I have purple hair. I was going to mention that. What? I was gonna mention that you're like a Twitch streamer pedophile now. What's yeah, going on? Yeah, no, it's I'm hitting every, <laughs> I'm hitting every single. Uh, so <laughs> what this is is, um, uh, I was gonna buzz my hair because I fucking pick it, as you can tell. Um, yeah. But uh, Alexis was like, "Why don't we have some fun?" <clears throat> and then after a night of fun, uh, we uh, I I said we should go get some hair dye, and we dye my hair. You have, what is the fly? There's a fly in my room. I can't figure it out. I'm not delayed on this camera, right? No, you're good. Now, because there's, there's so much light in this room, I guess it was hiding like all day. And now, because I turned all these lights on, now it's out. Um, anyways, I know you can't. Jesus Christ, this is going to be a, a whole episode thing now with this fucking fly in my room. It is. Um, like that one episode of Breaking Bad. One episode of Breaking what Bad that I'm aware of. <laughs> um, but yeah, dude, I wish I could, like, because the. We got new cameras. We got new cameras. cameras. And we got I, new you've, lighting. You've clicked off by now at this point. But yeah, with that comes light <laughs> because real cameras need a lot of light for it to look good. So there's a lot of light here now. And I wish I could accurately portray this is like high noon, like outside light. Like it looks like this is like outside level of brightness just in my fucking room. To make this happen, I'm sure when it gets later, my neighbors are going to look out and see this giant fucking beam array of light yeah. shooting out of, out of the cracks yeah. of my windows and be like, oh, they're cooking uranium bombs in there. Let they're, cook. they're cooking up like <laughs> they're cooking up weapons of mass destruction in that house. Um, but, yeah, this is this is step one of many to uh to to make some changes around here we mm -hmm. fired sean yeah um, he's gone we're whip we're whipping this shit in the shape man um 
was gonna, I was going to say something, but I'm kind of forgetting. I had, oh, I had yeah. something. I had something planned out for the start of this episode, and I'll be honest with you. I'm kind of. I'm kind of fucking. Uh, I'm kind of losing it. I'm just losing. I, it. It's been I, a weird day. I was saying. I was thinking you were going to say either drunk or high, but you no, went with losing I wish. It, which I hey, was not expecting to have. Oh, go ahead, everyone. This show's not funny. Um, so we need you. What we need you to do is to subscribe because what, if you more the more subscribers we have, the funnier we are. The funnier we can we afford are. writers for this show. Um, we can afford writers to make a joke like this. Aren't you glad you didn't say banana? And 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 um, you know, so just just do that. So that way we can do stuff like that, more stuff like that. And maybe we right can. now it's just me and Ben in a in a just getting attacked by flies, um, just writing. Oh, there's like a gradient to your hair. I don't think that's a purpose. I didn't do it. Yeah, you messed that up, bud. <clears throat> um, how are you, Zach? I'm okay again. Today has been a bit of a, a bit of a weird one. Today has been a bit of a weird day. You ever wake up and there's nothing wrong, but you're just in a little bit of a funk. Yeah, yeah. That's today for me for sure. This episode's been delayed. Not that you would care, but we were supposed to do this on our normal recording day, and then a new movie came out. Bo is afraid by Ari Aster, who you hate. Um, I hate him. And uh, you really, you really, truly do. You don't get it. Don't you even don't get it. Get hereditary. You, we argued about it. Yep. Ethan had some strong words for you after that episode, by the way, um, regarding <laughs> that movie and how all of you jumped on that. But you're all uncultured, and that's fine. It's okay to be wrong. Right. Um, and so, you know, but then the movie came out, a new movie, and I got really excited, and I bought tickets. I didn't even think about it for like a week. And I was like, oh, yeah, we were supposed to do an episode then. And yep. so I had to be like, actually... Actually, can you change everything for me? Well, you know, what's funny is it, it doesn't fucking matter. Nobody gives a shit. It's great. You give a shit. You hate me. I do. Um, what does your shirt say? My name is Ben Packet. Ben P- Paquet. Ben Paquette Pokemon. Thumbs up. I actually wore this to bowling with my purple hair. Um the other night, it was pretty you're great. So, it was a pretty you're great. So autistic. <laughs> it's pretty, you know, it's pretty so awesome. Mentally unstable. Um, <laughs> I'm wearing a shirt with your name on it three times with purple hair. So oh my god! That night was actually Dude. really fun because, um, Sean and I were seeing who could throw the bowling ball the fastest. That was what we were doing. Instead of actually bowling, we were just seeing who could throw the bowling ball the fastest. Um, and we we're eating that shit down down the. Uh, whatever um and uh i was doing it so many times that right now my arm is actually tired but imagine this boy in this shirt with this hair color doing the Wii sports thing where he he brings it back and it falls out of my hand and flies back <laughs> i thought we were gonna get, get kicked out uh, but You're it was a great break time. Break something. Well, that's time. one of my favorite genres of like viral video. Those, are those viral style videos where um, people go bowling and they break stuff, right? Like the bowling ball goes through the floor yeah. or through the ceiling or yeah. it hits a screen or something. Yeah. Those are fun videos. Yeah. And uh, I we I also hit, I was throwing it so hard <laughs> that the pins were kind of like flying all over the place and one got stuck in the gutter. And I threw it actually perfectly where as soon as it wait, a pin got stuck in the gutter. Yeah, how did that happen? I it just smacked back and flew forward because I was throwing the. the I've ball never so hard. seen a pin escape from its. Yep, escape from its. It was um, prison. It was sitting before. in the gutter. It was sitting laying in the gutter, and I just threw like the me. ball perfectly. At, right, I threw the ball perfectly, and it hit the 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 the, the, the pin and like flew back. Like it it got air after doing that. It's pretty great. I thought I was gonna break something. I didn't. You seem to break a lot of things. Pool sticks, yep. bowling alleys. That. that one I did. Okay. My well, back. Alley. Yeah. Uh, how was the... <laughs> <laughs> this is... A, I, think, I actually love the fact that this is so chill compared to episode 21. <laughs> yeah. So um, I love the fact that this is just kind of like open, free form, whatever. But uh, Ethan sent that message after last episode saying, this is a mess. And I talked to him about it last night. And he was like, yeah, I started off on the episode 
And it was like, you know, you're going on about your story for too long, which is whatever. But it was a normal episode. And then he skipped halfway through and he said it was just nonsense. He said it may as well have been white noise. It mm-hmm. was just mm-hmm. six drunk white guys, everyone trying to be the funniest one in the room. Yep. And no one could no get succeeding. a word in over anyone else. I think it was awesome. I thought but it was it awesome. also turns out to be our least viewed episode so far. So we'll see. We'll Give see. Fuck, I just, I, I just, it was a fun night. I hope we could do more shit like that again. But it is a good contrast between this, where it is just you and me shooting the shit. Hopefully, we'll get some more of that in the future. What the hell? Why did you pause? Oh, you know, sometimes you're stupid. Me? Uh, so how's your week aside from by the that way, I got this too what the fuck is your problem what are you doing to yourself I heard that this uh, is a sign that you're gay and I didn't know that until after it happened how did that happen what that how did that how, what was the thought process um, well, she, Alexis was cutting my hair and then uh, she said can I give you an eyebrow slit and I said yes you just here's the thing. None of these things are a problem. It's just the fact that you're you and this all happened in a week. <laughs> like I saw the, you and you were <clears throat> you, and then I come back and you've done all of these things to yourself. My my friend said I look like ninja, and I'm like, I first of all, it's yeah, purple, you're not blue. ninja. Put feet ninja in the title of this episode. Feet ninja. You think that's gonna get? That's going to get more views than the last episode. <laughs> do you think we could just do that? We, we we did the Andrew Tate episode. No one clicked on that. Maybe we need to add like Mr. Beast was on this episode. Or yeah. It's just someone cosplaying as Mr. Beast. Um, I get, I gave Sean a new camera too, but he didn't show up. So that's sick. Well, I talked to him earlier today. He was sitting here. You put the thing in for, Hey, we're going to do an episode at three 30. I look at like three 40 mm-hmm. and Sean's just in this room by himself. So I went on there and I was like, oh, yeah, I think Ben's late or something. And then he said he hated me and then left. Did he say so that? I don't know. That is something he would do. Um, no, he seemed very Debbie Downer for a minute. And then he was like, oh, I guess I'll see you at like nine or something. And um, and then like left. And I, I was like, oh, I think do you hate me? And he was like, no, 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 no I don't hate you. But he just sounded just sounded down in the dumps. You know? It's 906. He where is he at? What the fuck? I don't know. You fucking talk to him. He's your fucking friend. Sean, get in here. What if he what if he joined at that moment? That would have been fucking sick as hell. Yeah. Well, I we got like a 30 second buffer to where that makes sense. So you want to explain what happened with your mic uh post the episode? <laughs> yes. So last episode. We're getting a bit hammered. You could say that. We're getting drinks. Am I a bit of a lightweight? Don't don't call me out, bro. Anyways, we're drinking. There was already problems with my microphone a little bit. I've had it for years on years on years on years. It's already a little bit from having it in storage and not making videos for a long time. I don't know what I did exactly, but somehow I hit the cable of the microphone and this arm, it, oh, I'm like mirrored on my camera. This arm is the like cable itself. It is. Yeah. And then going. this is the uh, prong sticking out of the cable. And it went from already being like this to like. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And so I was like, okay, I just need to get a new cable. So I go, Benny, Benny Benjamins. You're my little cable go-to guy. I know I could probably figure this stuff out on my own, but just in case I want to run it by someone. Is this a good cable? And you go, yeah, yeah, Zach, that's a good cable. Oh, I've good. So I uh, order one. It was too short. I returned it. Ordered another one. I plugged it in. It's not working. But then something strange happens. I pull out the cable and it burns my fucking hand. Like it. It is like. It was not red hot because it wasn't visibly red, but I was like genuinely like left a mark in my skin from being that hot. And I said in that moment, I think it's time I have to buy a new microphone. Ben sent me some like $12,000 recording studio setups he wanted me to buy, like that fucking dick of a mic that's in front of his face right now. Um, I thought about it for a minute. I think that's a future, that's a future purchase. I just bought another Yeti. Because I have other shit to upgrade first. And we just bought all the new cameras and shit. Yeah. That was a lot of money. Yeah. These cameras. 300 each. And out of nowhere. I literally, I don't know if I told you this, but I sent Sean the link. He told me that story too. Yeah. I sent Sean the link. 
and it was already gone. Like it was, it was like maybe an hour after you sent me the link. Yeah, so we've been waiting on these Elgato Facecam Pros for like half a year now. Uh, they've been out of stock forever. And Elgato put out this little tweet. They put out a tweet. tweet. And they said, um, end of the month, they're coming back in stock. This little boy waited all month. They never came. They didn't do shit. Mm-hmm. But then I was just checking around the internet. And I've checked for like third-party sellers and stuff before. And uh, I came across a Reddit thread where this guy was like, is anyone seeing these Elgato face cam pros are on stock on Corsair? Immediately jumped on it, purchased it. I sent you the link. Now, according to you and Sean, you had like the next day sent Sean the link being like, oh, I forgot to send you this. Oh, that might that have been next- the case. Yeah, that, that, that sounds more like me. Yeah. Not giving them out the- on time. Yeah. <laughs> well, the next day, they're already sold out immediately. Yeah. And I checked on that Reddit thread and about an hour or two after we made our purchases, people were already like, dude, this thing's out of stock. Yeah. So we got in like within there was like an hour or something time frame where we could have bought these things. And I just so happened to Google it during the time frame when you could be able to purchase these cameras. I have have a great question for you, Zach. Speaking of that, how much money have you spent specifically on the podcast? I spent 200 on the Brio, 300 on the Facecam Pro. I would not count this. I bought this well before for the idea of a podcast, but not for the podcast specifically. Um, these lights. Yeah. So the camera was three hundred dollars. The lights were like forty bucks. Yeah. Um, the eleven lab subscriptions. How much is that again? I actually forget. I think like five, like two forty nine or five bucks or some really very something cheap. like that. Yeah. Yeah. For some reason, I was going to say eleven dollars, but then I thought, like, no, that's the name of the company. Right. But either yeah. way, however much that is to get our stupid little AI voices. Um. I guess this microphone now, this is a hundred dollar microphone. I needed to purchase. Didn't mean to, I would have needed to purchase another one anyways, mm-hmm. but, um, so you can add a hundred dollars to that. Um, there was a brief moment where I experimented around with some running some ads. I think I spent like 30 bucks, <clears throat> like experimenting with some ads didn't work. Um, but, uh, you know, I guess add all that up. Uh, is there something I'm missing? I don't know. Oh, I, I bought gifts, right? Like I bought you that shirt. Oh yeah, I, I guess you, that too. I sent yeah, you the gifts, coffee. Yeah. But I didn't I buy you something else too? Oh, possum and a peanut. Who could forget? Possum and a peanut is a great gift. That was a great gift. Great meme. I want to actually uh, extend you now that you brought up Eleven Labs. I talked to my buddy who knows that kind of stuff. Okay. Well, I say no. That's I didn't what, give any websites? context. I didn't give any. Yeah, websites. I didn't give any context. <laughs> okay. So my buddy Mike. Who I hope some comes to, he watches every podcast. You talk to him, uh, you know, one time through, uh, whatever. Um, uh, he knows stuff. He's a he's a guy who knows stuff. And I was like, well, Zach had this idea where he would we would have like some sort of live stream or live feed of two an AI Ben and an AI Zach just chatting it up to twenty four seven, right? And mm-hmm. he goes, I'm like, I'm like, how possible from your like from where you stand, would that be? Because he knows all the networking server stuff, all that stuff and APIs and all that shit. I have no idea. He was like, well, the first problem is that there's a limit on 11 labs. There's 30,000 yes. words a month. That's that's like half a day, if that, worth of uh, chatting back and forth. Second of all, it takes a while to generate the uh, the, 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 the AI You would voice. have to generate like a day in advance. Yeah, which is scuffed. Um, <clears throat> And then third of all, uh, hosting the server to stream it, where, however it would be streamed, um, it's also a little wonky. I, I would that would be a funny, a funny little thing to put on Bucket Lab if we could get that going though. Just a twenty four oh, yeah. seven well, serve like stream of. That, that, my original idea was honestly just having a Discord room where you just have two random bots hold a conversation forever. Yeah, but but you that that could be extended to you know to a stream Certainly. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I, 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 I have all sorts of ideas. I'm like kind of fucking a genius or something. Um, I'm not a genius. No, I'm me. Um, you're dumb. That's the dynamic of this show. Look Zach, at your room. You can't, you can't be the <laughs> funny guy and not get the joke. You said, I'm kind of fucking a genius. And I said, I'm not a genius. Yep. It yeah, means we're sure. having, we're having sex is the joke. The joke is that we're having sex. Patrick, your genius is showing. Um, Spongebob, I think, is the reference. I don't, I don't know what... We don't head. remember that? 
No, I, is it Patrick? Your genius is showing. I only I only know one thing, and it's Pokemon. Do you like up. the um the transparent thumb PNG? Yeah. Well, everybody, I would, thought you would my, find that to be the funniest part of the shirt. My friends my would come up to me and say, "What's up, Ben Packet, Ben Paquet, Ben Paquette, Pokemon?" <laughs> 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 so yeah, it was great. Glad it was you great. like it. Yeah, um, I know. Go ahead. Well, I was just thinking about like um. All of my, I don't know why I've never really used Discord. Like I'm in Isaiah's Discord, and I like and like a bunch of others just to like that I originally did just to like do a specific task or whatever. But I've never consistently used Discord until we were doing this show. And now I'm thinking about all my old like website ideas that I was doing and trying to see like a lot of that. Like I, I sent you a message about the 24 seven live stream in Discord. Not saying we're going to do that or whatever, but like. Just that was a concept that I had in my mind where I was going to take me and all of my friends' videos and I was going to turn it into like an online TV channel, right. kind of like a 24 7 live stream, but there'd be like programming and like Adult Swim style bumpers in between. And I genuinely built it all out and had it running for a little bit. Um, it was janky as all hell. But then I was thinking, like, what if I could just circumvent all that? And there was just like, like big brain business idea. Like, imagine this show is big enough to have some kind of Patreon. What if there was a room? where there was essentially vomit TV that you could go into and it had all the discord chats and everything below, but you don't have to pay for any kind of web hosting or anything. It's right. just run by a discord. Bot. Right. Right. Would be, would it be beautiful? Would it be beautiful? That would, I have no clue how my, you even set that up, but my mind is just operating at 11 as to like all these other ideas I had that involved some kind of web hosting could probably be executed by some kind of discord. Bot. Zach, think about this. We take the transcripts. I'm 10 FPS and I'm going to fix this in a second. I don't, I, on my end, <laughs> I, I look awful. Um, think about this though. Discord bot. Wait, why did I say that? We record 30 <laughs> episodes. Another idea. Discord bot. <laughs> we record 30 episodes. We transcript you and my, all of our. You can already do that. Right. We transcript all of you, you and my uh, chats. So the, uh, like, like a, some sort of bot, like a chat GPT kind of bot would be able to dissect how we talk what we talk about uh, all that shit right so mm -hmm. Why am I still we take blurry? that information and then we only do one episode a year and we let the ai do the rest no but it would be funny to have it completely ai generated wouldn't episode. it be funny all right i'm i'm hold on i'm gonna i'm just gonna fix i know exactly what the problem with my, my video is hold on yeah you might need to mess around with your with your lighting a little bit more you do look good but i think like i still need to mess around with my lighting a little bit more too i just feel like i look more like brighter and contrastier well you look maybe brighter but i feel like the contrast on mine looks i think you have more lighting yours. in the back of your room as well compared to my stupid ass yeah um, well i also put my second so i have my main light at max brightness at like a 45 degree angle up and down on me here and then i have my secondary light with a purple filter on aimed at my face on this side so it's so it's like a fake shadow it's oh. not a real shadow it's purple light you see what I mean? You kind of see it? I, no, I definitely see it. Yeah, absolutely. So it's like I, I tried it without shadow? it and it was just too dark. <laughs> That's not a shadow, buddy. Oh, back to the show. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, oh, crazy. Oh, my God. Anyway, what after we even talking maybe about? fixing. I was explaining something important. After maybe fixing the set of the settings. This episode's for, a wash, dude. It's a, yeah, it's, it's trash. I actually literally click off already. Hey, there's going to be some fun bits later in this episode. I'm sure of it. No. Um, this, 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 this is just me, Ben, talking. We got, we got big plans. I don't, I don't think we're going to say anything right now. But just, just appreciate this episode for what it is. You know I'm what I gonna, mean? I'm gonna, if I'm you're gonna, watching this, you're in before. You're in before things kick off. Oh, dude, check this out. Check this out. I'm going to censor. Only I'm gonna, fans. I'm going to censor. Only fans. I'm going to censor the name. But I'm going to give it. I'm going to tease. I'm going to give. I'm going to be a little tease, like like an, like an OnlyFans, like an OnlyFans, OnlyFans person on Twitter. A little tease. Creator Clash Three. Yeah, I'll be there. Um, <laughs> we talked about that, and we're talking about how because me and Ethan watched it. We're talking about how um, we would handle it. And no offense to you, Ben, but I was like, if podcast Ben um, got on there, he would like he would be like a skeleton that would, would just collapse. Stop. <laughs> like I would stop. <laughs> Yeah, I, I watched Creator Cost 2. It was very good. No, but here's my tease. Here's my tease. My, here's my tease. I'm going to censor that word, but I'm going to tease the show. Or wait, the, the time There's a frame. lot more than just a show, though, too. We're working on some, some interesting things. So um, if you want, we can record on Wednesday afternoon. 
I think that's a yes for me, dog. But let me like double check to make sure there's nothing else I need to do. That's but I'm like ninety percent sure. Yes, that's the tease. And because if if we re- we record it, then we can release it. You know, somewhat thereafter. And that other thing we were talking about. Another thing we after, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, we have cool. We, did you hear the fart? No. <laughs> um, Zachary, how did you like Creator uh, Clash? I thought it was good. All the drama surrounding it kind of fucked with me a little bit because it was just to the point, like, I don't know. I don't want to get into it too much. Um, but like, if you're aware of Creator Clash, I'm sure you saw it. But it just all put a sour taste in my mouth. And I'm like, am I really going to watch this shit after all this stuff is going down? But um, I already made my little promise to Ethan that I'd buy it and watch it with him. And it, it was really fun. Um, this time, this go around, because I watched both one and two, um, Creator, Creator Clash 2 had a lot less people I was aware of in it. So like that on its own made it a little less interesting for me. There's still some good fights. I really like the Harley fight. That was fun. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, and fucking um, falling off the stage was so seeing good. Seeing the yodeling Haley girl from last time mm-hmm. come back and kick some ass was super nice. That too. was cool. Oh, fly. What? There's a fly back. Yeah. Oh, I thought you said there was a fire. I was like, what are you? <laughs> I was stressed out for you. Um, no. no. I just, my reaction to my room being on fire would not be, hello, fire. I honestly <laughs> <laughs> resumed the show. Uh, well, I think maybe one day we'll have a set and we could just set that shit on fire and like, it won't be a problem because it'll be, oh, we'll own it. <laughs> so yeah, this creative class two is pretty so. good. <laughs> um, creative class two is pretty good. I watched it with a bunch of guys over discord. Uh, a lot of the fights were r- a lot more hype than creative clash one. I think I feel like a lot of creative clash one hi- fights were like, okay, we know who wins. You know what I mean? Two was a lot more balanced. I felt like, um, and two felt better, especially towards the end where there was like the whole emotional moment between uh, Idubs and Anissa talking about like, you know, it's, you know, oh, that's, con- that's somehow controversial yeah. now too. Yeah, there was, I, saw, I, saw, Christ. I, I saw a bunch of pictures of the, uh, their faces. I was like, I don't, I don't see the problem. I don't know. I, I, I love me a cuck, I guess, or uh, whatever you call him, beta simp. Um, but um, yeah, uh, great time. Uh, that was you can't you can't put that put the, put that down. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you can't casually do that. Uh, so <laughs> stop. Put it to stop. It's one thing to not know you're doing it, but what? Jesus fucking Christ, my guy. We, I don't understand why our shorts comments are so racist. I don't get it. <laughs> um, oh, uh, fuck that you, was actually, shorts comments. I saw the Mario movie. I saw Bo is Afraid. You saw Mario. We are not the same. Mario, Mario movie, I thought, was a fucking banger. And they had great music other than random uh, and random licensed music that did not fit the scene like multiple times. Besides that and besides the pacing, banger movie. 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10, even an 8 out of 10, possibly. Are you obsessed with the Peaches song? No, I don't. That was Good. so, I was disinterested in that I like Jack immediately. Black, but I don't get why that is like on the rage. I don't understand it either. I don't care about it at all, to be honest. I don't give a shit. Ben Paquette cool? Pokemon. Am I cool? Ben Paquette Pokemon. Am I cool? Zach? Leave a comment if you think Ben's cool. <laughs> He's just begging. Uh, dude, I drove so much today. I got up at 10. Yeah, what's going on with that? I got up at 10, left at noon, thought I was going to be back for 6.30. Was not back for 6.30 because I, I I ran a few errands uh, in the destination. So I, mm-hmm. I went to New Jersey, came back. And then New Jersey, I ran a few errands before coming back, thinking uh, wait, I was going to be Wait, what did you do good. in New Jersey? Is this a... Did you run a few errands or something? Are you finished with those errands? Is that is that where this is gonna go, or something like that? Like another SpongeBob reference? Is that what? Is that where this is headed? I only know Pokemon references, motherfucker. What type is Pikachu? Earth, Wind, and Fire. That's right. Just September. like Avatar at Last Airbending. Um, yeah, I was thinking of the band. Oh, bum 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 bum. Right, that was them. So I went to New Jersey and ran a few errands. <laughs> And I, I, I thought that I'd be good. I thought maybe I'd be like, you know, half an hour late, 45 minutes late at most. Um, but it was kind of a mess on the way back and I was an hour and 45 minutes late. So, 
Uh, it was a pretty good time. I drove a lot to the point where my uh, Were right... Were you on a train at one point? You sent me a picture of yourself on a train again. That was old. That was like a week old. Two weeks old. Why are you sending me old pictures, bro? Uh, because I, I, didn't, I didn't want to spoil the purple hair. Uh, yeah, I was I was keeping it for the show. How um, lucky am I? Yeah, I know. I... I, I I so I, I went to my buddy's house yesterday to do the bowling and all all the shit, and um, nobody reacted to the purple hair, their purple hair. They were just like, "Oh, your hair is purple," and I was like, "Yeah," and nobody gave a fuck. Nobody gave a fuck. What, re- what reaction were you expecting? Whoa. Oh my god! Where I, I, I needed I needed, I needed a pa- is your hair purple? I, I needed a, like a fake pog for like a thumbnail, like like a, you know what I mean? Um, but no, I, I, they were just like, "Oh, that's cool." No, only one person said they liked it too. It's a little blotchy. Um, I've left it in way too long, but fuck it, dude. You know what I'm saying? YOLO. You should dye your hair purple. Just nope. for brevity. All right. I don't know if brevity is the right word. What does brevity mean? I, I've considered it. Honestly, I hate I, I hate saying shit like this, but I don't know. I, th- I, I thought about it like dyeing my hair like a funny little color before, but then I thought about like the other like it's so weird how like now like everyone assumes all this other shit about people yeah yeah you know what i, I mean like if i dyed I, my hair like people would just see a bunch of shit about me and it's just like i don't know i could handle it like people say rancid shit about me online every day at this point anyways but it's, it's just something about like i don't know like going to work you know oh, what i mean yeah, like, I I, like, home, like, so it doesn't matter for me yeah i don't know um well when you get when you get fired uh, I'll, I'll, I'll die. I'll bleach your hair for you. Don't worry. <laughs> so, um, I was at, I was at work earlier in the week and our office is like a shared office. So it's like a big office building and each company has like their own suite. So when you use the bathrooms, they're like a shared, like you could be using the restroom adjacent to someone from a different company that you're not okay. aware of. Okay. So I'm taking a dump. <laughs> And in the in the stall next to me, there's a man who I can only assume is a much uh, larger gentleman. Um, and I'm sitting in there and some hooligan Uh-oh. or some hoodlum walks in oh, no. and turns the lights off while we're using the bathroom. What a, what a fucking what a fucking. Uh, uh, what's another word? Hoodlum. No, you said that one. Ooh, that sounds like a slur. I don't never mind. Go nope. ahead. Anyway, so this this ragamuffin comes in and he turns off all the lights. And in my mind, I'm like, it's annoying, but whatever. <laughs> but the guy next to me goes, um, okay. Oh, <laughs> I, he, fucking, he, I fucking lost it. I don't know why. You it's just something, <laughs> there's just something about the lights getting turned on and very clearly like a middle-aged, larger man just going, um, Okay. <laughs> when we went full like, millennial let, on you, he I said I was trying he, to hold in my laugh so much, I fucking fired out a stream of shit. Like it just all came out of me at that moment, and then I left, and then I caught the man. <laughs> I thought you and were I the, beat the shit out of him. I imagined you were on a urinal when you when that happened to you. I you might have specifically said you weren't, but when you said that we <laughs> that you laughed Jason at a stall, <laughs> when you said you laughed at a stream of shit came flying out, I was like, "What the <laughs> fuck?" Standing happened? up at the urinal, <laughs> and a man turns the lights off, and I just shit myself immediately. Uh, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I shit on the floor before. Hey, send Sean a message. See if his ass is coming in here. Or not. Let me uh, let me send that. Man. Let me send, send Sean's ass a message. Let me see what he hey, says. If you want to send Sean's ass a message, you can subscribe to him on. Twitch.com, kick.com. What is he doing now? Uh, he does have a kick. I know. I saw. That's why I said that. I clicked on it. Sean, I watched your kick for three minutes, and you were playing chess. And I said, I don't know shit about chess, dude. So I hopped off. But if you like chess and random alternative live streaming services with three viewers, well, gosh and golly gee, it's your lucky day because our boy Sean O'Day He's has there. you filled, and he I, will fill you. I, he I has watched- a girlfriend. He does have a girlfriend. But he will fill you in a different way. <clears throat> so not with his like big man, big, big wrinkly cock and balls. Not like that. Um, I watched his I watched his kick stream on my phone. Kick doesn't do well on phones, I found out. I was in line for coffee and I saw that. And I pulled, I whipped it out. My phone, that is. Right. When I watched him on kick, he's just like Aiden Ross. 
or there's Kai some... Sinan. Is it Kai Sinant? Kai Sinant? Kai Sinant. How do you pronounce his name? Sinant. Sinant yeah. I'm sorry. I'm just unacquainted with your thing. I've seen you through clips, Kai. I did not. Oh, you're talking directly viewer. to Kai. Okay. Kai, <laughs> I, I that was me trying to learn more about you. Right. Not it was my ignorance, but it was owned ignorance. It was not malicious ignorance. And I apologize, Kai Sinat. Do you have anything else to say to Kai Sinat? Come on the show. Join up. Or I'll call you out for Creator Clash 3! Do you versus Kai Sinat in Creator Clash I think he's like our age, isn't he? Probably. I have Probably. no idea. Yeah. Um, he was with Little Uzi Vert in the yeah. I Just Want to Rock music video. He goes... <laughs> I can't say I've seen it, to be honest with you. That's the new dance now. I like how do I like a, how when you did that dance, dance you, you do a little, you do you're, a little you're, shake you, now. That's how that, you dance. You have a hair that's just like doing jig, doing a little jig with you. This is how you dance now. You look like a it's fucking clock, the bro. Wiper. You look like a, a grandfather clock. What the fuck? Um, <laughs> yeah, don't do the center part. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> nope. Too nope. late, baby. <laughs> this is my new look now. You get to do purple hair. I get a dorky little center part. Um, what do you mean? There's nothing wrong with purple hair. Nothing wrong with it. Fucking blunder blart, dude. Oh, that what? looks worse. You that ever, looks way worse. You ever, you ever watch like the Will It Blend guy? You used to. Will It Blend. Did, does a microwave guy? No. I know. There's a guy on YouTube that used to microwave shit. It was like early, early YouTube too. It was like my first exposure to YouTube. It was this guy that would throw everything into a microwave. Maybe it would just explode. Yeah, I mean, that's like the the almost always what ends up happening, right? Is it just explodes? Yeah, well, you just, it's fun because you're just watching this guy blow shit up in his basement. What happens if you put a battery in it? Is that was, it, I think, one of his first videos. Explodes. He did everything, man. I'll have to send you some videos. Um, You'll have to also remind me when you're editing this, too, at the very beginning, I told you to put a clip in. It was very specific and I can find it for you, but I forget what I said already. That's fine. I'll, I'll, Maybe find out. Um, Zachary, I got a question. We don't. Did you ever want to blend anything? My, my hand. You wanted to blend your Remember hand? I went on Rotten.com watched... and there was a video of a guy that got his hand caught in a blender and one of like a potato peeler too. Yeah. Um, I don't know what subreddit. I don't use Reddit anymore, but I used to subreddit a while ago and it was like just fucked up shit. Maybe it was like NSFL or something. I don't know. NSFW. I don't remember. There, there used to be a lot of gore. Reddit's kind of cracked down on their gore subreddits. Um, but it was a, it was a, I saw a video of a, a guy that he, he had a, a mouse in a blender and that shit went from being a mouse to being a pink sludge in like, like a, the snap of a finger. There was this horrendous video. Maybe you've even talked about it on the show before that me and Ethan used to talk about. It, awful. Like, like, this guy is fucked up. I'm not condoning this. Um, but uh, there was an Omegle chat room. And there were these two girls at a, ta- at a on the Omegle chat. And then the other feed was a table with a little baby chicken on it. And oh, the yes. guy said, you told me about this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, and the guy was like, show boobs. And she was like, what? And she was like, what? Are you trying to know? No. And then the guy move, and then the guy set, moves the chicken back. And he says, show boobs or I move them closer. And they're like, closer to what? <laughs> and then he moves it back further and a fucking snake eats the baby chicken. <laughs> it's uh, that, Yeah, that's just horrendous. I, I, dude, shock videos were kind of like a big meme, like what? 10 years not even 10 years ago like i didn't really sort them out it was just like if you were on because I, I was just a degenerate internet baby right it's and weird so to like, me that you're you just degenerate- dive go ahead go ahead go ahead if you if you just dive through those like internet forums it's like you click on a link and it's like yep that was a video i yeah. just saw yeah i wasn't like seeking it out but it's interesting to me that you are a degenerate internet baby but i'm the one like hmm I knew like almost everybody at Creator Clash too. I, whether I cared about their content or not is a different story. I don't really, yeah, I, I I like specific things like <laughs> I predatory. Don't know. There's it's, a fucking get the fucking fly right now, Zachary. Oh, it's I know, so I shiny. What the fuck is that, bro? I got oily ass finger. Wait, it is shiny. That's not even that's not even fake. Like that's not even like a weird bug. That's like just. I didn't sh- think it was fake. You thought it was a bug. What the fuck is wrong with you? You saw a light on your finger and you thought you had a bug on your finger no, and you that, didn't move. No, no. And you just said, look at that See, shiny bug. This is bug. what I mean. This is what I mean, Zach. You say you're a degenerate internet, internet baby. I'm not talking about a physical bug. I'm talking about a fucking, like a camera bug, ah, like it, some, some lighting issue. 
Okay. Zach. But yeah, like it. <laughs> yep. You What's the, wrong? Do you see the shininess on my finger? Yep, I see the shininess on your finger. Eat it. It, wait, but it goes away when I take it away from the light. It goes away when I take it away from the light. How do I fucking You need eat a that? babysitter. <laughs> Look at my shirt. Am I... <laughs> Why do you think I need a babysitter? I don't understand. <clears throat> Anyways, it's very clear. So I, my, my brain is either turned on or it's turned off. It's apparent by like what I talk about. Like if there's something I'm interested in or if I'm with people I'm interested in. It's very hard to get me to shut the fuck up about something because I just keep talking. And if I don't care about something, it's very apparent because I pay literally zero attention to it. Um, And so it's like, you know, I'm online all the time. I really, truly am. And I spend a lot of time growing up just online. (laughs) That's fantastic. I have (laughs) girls. But, uh, you know, it's like all those content creators. It's like if they're not something I'm very specifically interested in i don't care like okay. i just i've not heard of them like name a creator from creator clash jarvis johnson never heard of him aside from creator clash you have a bug in your hair no i don't it's not in my hair that was a hair bug that was a hair <laughs> bug <laughs> call it a hair bug <laughs> i know i have bug. a bug flying around me no you had a hair bug it was now. specifically it's sitting in your hair, hair. Bug. you had a hair bug in your hair I'm not mike pence speaking of mike can you take that mic off of your headphones or is it stuck there it's stuck there why literally mid-ass headphones bro what the fuck i do like this this is a really good gamer headset for when i'm trying to game with a hyper x right i should probably need no it's corsair <laughs> it is corsair oh beautiful I think I, I guess I'm just a Corsair stand now or Maybe something. Maybe we should get a, a, a partnership with Corsair. Maybe. I have Corsair RAM in my computer. I, I have 32 gigs of Corsair, Corsair RGB Vengeance. RAM. Vengeance. Yeah, I think I have Corsair as well. I have, yeah, I have, I have 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance pumping through the. You're, 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 you have more RAM than I do. I've, I've only ever had 16 gigabytes of RAM since I got my computer in 2015. Oh, since I got my first computer in 2015. Now, my computer's shot in other ways. I have, what is it? What is, I told you what GPU I have. It's like 10, the 1060. 1060. But that's not even that bad, to be honest. I mean, it's, it's, it can't, it can't run the fucking blurry background for this camera. Right. You need RTX. My Premiere Pro, yeah. Yeah. my Premiere Pro freezes and crashes just making YouTube shorts every day. Like, I need a new computer. It's at the point though now where like the PSU is is is, is garbo. I could upgrade the PSU. That's not a problem. But for these larger graphics cards, the case on it yeah. just wouldn't fit it. Yeah, well, the, not only the, that, the, the fucking, motherboard. The, the real issue is the motherboard because the motherboard is super yeah. outdated and doesn't support M.2 drives and it doesn't support like larger GPUs. So the issue is if I want to upgrade the GPU or PSU or upgrade stuff like that, I would need to upgrade the motherboard. But yeah, yeah that is, upgrading the motherboard just essentially means you're building a new computer. Yeah. Um, like it require it all. It a lot of times requires a new case. And then at that point you just reset. I'll save the vengeance Ram. Yeah. That because Ram doesn't, Ram, play, I mean, Ram but, gets better, but I mean like it doesn't, it doesn't age like a, yeah, a GPU I, does. I don't know how many dance dance revolutions I have. That was a computer joke. Did you get that, Ben? DDR. Uh, DDR4. You got four of them. Who listens to this show, man? Um, we started off doing nothing. We told jokes, and now I'm talking about how many this. Dance Dance Revolutions my computer has. What are you fucking doing a kung fu move on me? Look, there's a little light at the end of my finger. Are you fingering me right now? I might be. It's very shiny. It's like I pulled it out of like a butthole that was really wet. Um... Zach. What is your problem? No, don't move on. What was that? What did you just say? I, it's like I pulled my finger out of a butthole that was really wet. Why? Do you think about that why before I, you said that? I, why did I pull my finger out of a butthole that was really wet? Maybe they went to a fucking pool. I don't know. People swim. Moving on. Um, <laughs> yeah, did you see this, this, the size comparison between a 4090 and an Xbox Series X? It's like the same size. Like a whole yeah, Xbox. I've never seen one in person, but I bet. Yeah, they're like fucking I enormous. Bet. They're fucking enormous. Yeah, I, and that that couldn't fit in my computer case. No. It just couldn't. I'm getting. So. I'm getting. I have a supercomputer list of on PC part picker that I've had for years, um, and I have not bought anything from it yet. Um, but it is like all the best stuff that I can get, and it's a fucking enormous like cube. With that I'm very excited to get one day. It's an enormous cube. It's an enormous yeah. cube. Um, yeah, so when you were sending me all this audio equipment instead of to purchase this, I was like, the Blue Yeti microphone sounds fine. 
It doesn't yeah. sound amazing, but it sounds like for this show, it's 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 good enough. And uh, um, I do editing for a living, uh, not only for this show. And my computer uh, is ten years old now, if not older, and it is just falling apart on me. So I should probably put my money into that. No, 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 no. You can run a good a good mic on uh, that computer. I I'm talking about the money from a money perspective. Where's my money best served? Meh. <laughs> Meh, fuck that. <laughs> um uh I hey. go ahead. No, you go ahead. Uh I uh have been really enjoying the shorts lately. I think they've been kind of falling off a little bit lately, to be honest with you. I think, Zach, I think that you are the the smartest person to be doing what you're doing and the best person to be doing what you're doing. And at the same time, I think that you're overextending yourself uh, a bit too much with the shorts. Why is that? Uh, Nothing. You release like three a day and then you release uh, like a normal clip. And I'm just I just think you're doing too much. Like I, I, I understand that it gets, it is, I mean, it's number bigger, right? But I'm worried about you as a person, Zachary. <laughs> well, my issue is doing the shorts doesn't take a lot from me. My, my whole thing is like, it's pretty apparent to me. If you post a lot, YouTube rewards that. And if you don't post a lot, unless yeah. people are like seeking out your content or you're ranking on search, YouTube's not going to keep pushing it if you're not constantly doing shit. So I don't want to have a day where something's not coming out. Like that's my goal. Like even if it, I'm really struggling with shit. If I could just post like a random shit post short a day, at least that keeps things going. Um, my whole thing right now is it's not hard to keep up with shorts, but like there's a lot of stuff happening at once. So like got a new job, professional full-time video editor. Um, I did a weekend project for the company this weekend too. Uh, but then I'm doing client work, freelancing for a client and I'm doing stuff for this show. And I am doing a project for the great Isaiah right now as well too. And for this new stuff we're talking about for this show, we're planning on all of it too. So Ben, I literally, I love it because it's what I wanted to do. Like ever since I was like 14 or 15 years old, I was like, I don't care what I want to like, it's not that I didn't care. All I wanted to do for a living was do something where I was able to be creative. And now I wake up every single day and I do video editing and YouTube stuff from the moment I wake up, from the moment I go to sleep. That was what I asked for to do. And I successfully somehow made that my life. And I don't regret it at all. Like, I love doing it. At the same time, though, it is a lot to keep up with. <laughs> like, at the same time, though, like, I am doing a lot at once and like each one of the things in it in and of itself is not hard it is just planning time to do it while at the same time i'm a very lazy person yeah like like i Enjoy procrastinate and just lay down and do yeah. nothing yeah. so like hours out of the day yeah um and so for 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 me it's just like finding time to get everything done is the biggest issue with that because when i sit down and do shorts I have a good time. Like, it's not a problem. I like doing it and I will continue to do it. It's just like with everything else going on, it's like, okay, well that client needs like a few things for that day. I got to be at work at that time. You know what I mean? Like it's more of that's, like coordinating yeah. everything. That, that is the hard part. That's what I mean about the overextending bit where it's just like you have your hands in like a bunch of different jars where in comparison, like I, I'm very busy uh, a lot. You know, like you, Really, a long distance relationship, you know, I hang out with my friends, you know, I, multiple times a week. I work 40 plus hours a week. Like I, I do my own. I have my own reasons to be busy and you all kind of, but all my things are different. Like I have work is one thing. And then I have hanging out with the guys is another thing. And then I have this podcast and editing, which is another thing. And then I have hanging out with my long distance in my long distance relationship, hanging out over Pokemon or Pixelmon or whatever the fuck we end up doing. That's one. That's one thing. I have a bunch of different things that I got to do. And family, obviously, is on the side. Um, I have all these all these things that are all uh, that all take up my time. When and I love doing every single one of them. I love hanging out with my friends. I love hanging out with my girlfriend. I love hanging uh, hanging out with you on the podcast. Um, but I I when I say overextending yourself, <laughs> it's okay to be is this busy. My intervention. Yeah. Well, yes. Yes, it is. It's okay <laughs> to be busy. I think it's great. That's a good thing to be busy, especially if you're doing something you love but I'm worried that your hands are in so many pockets of the same thing that you're going to over time end up hating it 
Pause for a second. I think I realized why I'm I am 15 FPS. <laughs> I figured it out, Zach. Wow. My <laughs> my ISO was up. I was trying to figure out why. The I, ISO is the whole reason why we bought the lights, damn it. I know. I don't know what the fuck, why my ISO was up. But now I, I feel and I look so much better and I'm happy about it. The, uh, by cranking the ISO down. Did, they really should just put in big, bold letters on the Elgato Facecam Pro. Dummy, <clears throat> you don't have as much photography experience as you think. To get the best use out of this camera, get big ass lights and crank your ISO down. Really... I'm being serious. You should really only use the lowest possible ISO setting if you can. Dude. Okay. Wait, clap in, I guess I probably already clapped in at some point before this. Um, uh, if you're seeing this now, I changed my settings. And if I didn't keep that in, I changed my settings, but yeah, I feel like a dumbass. I don't know why my, my settings got reset. Don't know. Don't care. Anyway, I, yeah, I'm worried about you overextending yourself in one <laughs> In one thing, you do making that's so really much. Con- do. I know that's what you want to do, but Zach, there are, you. Ha- mm, how do I say what I want to say? Um, it's what I'm saying about like I don't if want you my to hate brain, doing what you're doing. Is what I'm saying. Like, but I don't, I don't want- though. And the thing is, is like I could turn a lot of it off at any moment if I wanted to. Now I sound like an addict, but uh, <laughs> you know what I mean. Like, no offense, if I thought this show was too much, I could easily just say like Ben, I'm not doing this anymore. Yeah. I'm not going to do that to you because I like this. Um, I could easily go to my client today and be like, I don't think this relationship is working out. We should cut this. Um, and that would be totally fine. I could quit my job. I'm not going to, but you know what I mean? Like I could do that. I could have easily said, Isaiah, I'm not like, you know, I don't have the time for this. Like I could have, I, I can say no. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, 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 I don't, I just don't want you to, to hate the, uh, especially, I, I, I'm okay. There's a 50% of me that's like, I don't want you to hate doing regurgitated. And then there's other 50% of me that it's like, I don't want you to hate. I don't want you to this hate be the part of the reason. Yeah. That you hate <laughs> the thing that you love. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. I'm sure as I get older, my thought process will change, right? Like as I get older, I'm sure I will want to transition all this crazy stuff I'm doing now into like a core thing that I can manage that does, that is not so all over the place. But as of right now, man, I'm just, you know, trying things out. I'm finally in a position where I can make this my whole life. And, um, if I care about it, I'm going to do it. And, um, you know, if it does get to that point, I'll figure that out. But right now it's like, I don't know. I, I, I say I bother you with ideas. Sean told me you secretly love it. I'm not sure if that's true or not, I do. but, um, you, you can tell just by like working with me on stuff. Like, if my if I'm interested in doing a project, which this is I would consider that, like I will just constantly in the back of my mind, no matter what I'm doing, be trying to think of ways to like improve it and mm-hmm. do it better. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't matter how outlandish or off the wall it is, I will throw out that idea. But my first marketing job last year, I pitched uh for one of our clients, why don't we just get you to go on a bunch of local TV shows? And then like they were in that meeting, they were like, No, we're not <laughs> figuring out that like we've never done that for any client ever. Yeah, why yeah. would we be having him go on like local TV shows. But in my mind, I was like, that would fix the problem we have. So why don't we try to look into getting this guy on a fucking local TV show? Hmm. Hmm. How do you, but how that's do, like the how, same thing I do to you. You know what I mean? Where it's like, I might pitch you an idea that has no shot of us being able to make it, but it's an idea I know that would fix a certain problem we would have or elevate us to another level. And it doesn't matter if it's not possible or not, or if it's a dumb idea, I'm just going to say it. Yeah, and we can, the thing about the, those kinds of ideas is that we can take something from them. You know what I mean? Like we, yeah. if, if not the entire concept of the thing, we can like, I, who was it? Was it, who brought up the idea of, well, actually I'm never mind. That's a spoiler for a show that's coming. Sorry. I just, I, I'm now I'm speaking too candid. No one's watching this shit anyways. Oh, at this right. point, it's so, fine. So, uh, us ending the show in like three episodes, uh, the, whose idea was that? Uh, I think we just felt really hurt by, uh, YouTube shorts YouTube comments. Shorts comments, right. Exactly. <laughs> and so right, I think that's right. why we're shutting right. everything that's down. That's exactly it. Right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I, I love that. I love the ideas. Like I, I, you, you keep saying that you think that you, I, I hate them. Um, mostly no, because, because I, I, I know I'm a difficult, like if you're interested in like, we're both doing this thing together and I think we're both equally as interested with it. But from 
my previous experiences, I work with a lot of people that are like half interested in something. And it's like, I know I'm a bitch to work with in those environments. Cause I'm just constantly like, we should be doing this thing. And then they're like, I don't fucking care. But then I'm just yeah. never stopping that. You know, well, the thing is that you have, you have your 50% of the show. So it's like you have, that is, it's not even just your creative like freedom it, that you, you have the, you you can make a thing okay, happen. Is. Like yeah, you have the you have the cojones, the big. What does that mean, literally twist. mean? I don't know. Nuts, maybe like nuts, like in the literal. That's term. how I interpret it too. But I don't know. Yeah. What does that mean? What is co- here? Hold on, I'm gonna ask my phone. Pause for a moment. We're doing a little. This is like you're hanging out with two, with two friends. I'm gonna do a little Google. Right. I'm gonna ask. Go on. Yeah, Google. do it. Two friends. That's us. What does cojones mean? Here's the definition of a the man's testicles. testicles. Damn, that's just straight up. Okay, straight up. Um, but you, but you have the ability on this platform of 700 subscribers on the Reflux channel, um, <laughs> 46, all, 46 on, on the, the main channel, channel. Um, to make anything that you want that you have the ability to do. Or we have the ability to do, happen. Oh, or you sense. have the idea, you have the uh, ability to workshop it. Like me making an anime podcast, if that ever does happen, is completely detached from you other than your assistance and maybe the branding and shit like that. You know what I mean? And if you wanted to make a show where you did a director's cut of every episode of Regurgitated, where you and Ethan were just calling everybody ugly, that's on you, brother. I'll help we you. We did like way a I mystery can. theater three thousands version yeah, where we just right. commentate over a podcast right, exactly. that is already chaotic. Exactly. Um, by the way, what the look fuck? at those guns, dude! I am Creator you Crash kick Three. My ass. I'm oh the, my god! I am the I am the showrunner, oh, the show so guy. What the main talk, event? What you you talk about me overextending myself on all of these things that I'm doing? I really want to start going back to the gym, but like I'm trying to like I don't like I genuinely I'm, like don't have the I could like the time is an issue, but I could find the time. But the time yeah. I do have, I'm so fucking like not energy. Like I'm so not there. You know what I mean? That I don't. I mean, maybe it. spending it in the gym would rejuvenate me. I just don't know. <laughs> Think of, look at me. If you look at me right now. Like, yeah, I don't look like the peak physical specimen, but I look pretty good. This gut, dude, I got like a real gut. I feel you. Out, dude. Right, I, I feel got you. like a little pregnant lady gut. I feel you. I'm skinny, except for the gut. It looks like I swallowed a bowling ball. I'm what your teacher said would happen if you ate the watermelon seeds. Oh, you got a, you got a watermelon in your tummy. I got a watermelon. Maybe a few. I um, hope not. <laughs> <laughs> um that's yeah, a kidney stone i yeah dude i was worried i had a kidney stone the other day oh yeah i i tell ate, I ate at a it. restaurant i ate at a restaurant and that'll do it i yep i ate <laughs> yep that's all uh, <laughs> I, I ate at a restaurant and i came home and i it was like the weirdest feeling it was like Almost like the diarrhea, you know, the diarrhea cramps that you get. It was like that, but it oh, was yeah. Something very, women that don't know. They say pregnancy is uh, right. uh, painful, but they don't understand right. about diarrhea. Cramps. They don't get it. But my, I was getting, it was like diarrhea cramps, but in a very specific spot. And I was like, I'm having a kidney stone. I'm going to die. Hypochondriac, by the way. Um, uh, yeah. Stop. I, stop. Don't, you're not normal. Stop it. What? I'm trying to be funny. You are funny, Zach. No, not like that, though. We should do stand-up comedy on the show again. I think we should do a round two. We should. I should do stand-up comedy in real life again. Yeah. See how many things I want to do? God damn it. I love it. I love it. I love I love planning for the future. And every, ep- every episode, we have a dedicated section where it's like, oh, this is what we, we want to do. One day, one day when this is Mr. Beast levels of famous, we'll do vomit fest and I'll get to do stand up comedy and you. podcast live. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And then you can do it too. And then you'll be f- scared for your life. Yeah. I'm already, I'm already scared for my life on a daily basis. I drive sometimes. Yeah. So speaking of that, Zach, um, what is your favorite soda? This what is or was, um, so you know here to this little mom and pop shop called firehouse subs yeah well they have this drink there that you can only find at firehouse subs called cherry limeade and you can get it sparkling out of their machines too where they carbonate it um i wouldn't say it's my favorite but 
it's exclusive, so I don't get it a whole lot. And we had Firehouse subs today. And uh, I really, really like it when I go to Firehouse Subs. I don't you. really drink much soda, though. I like Coke. I like Sprite. I like root beer. Um, I'm a Dr. Pepper cool. baby, bro. I'm Dr. A Pepper's fucking, good. I, I will down some Dr. Pepper. I'll deep throat some Dr. Pepper, bro. The doctor yeah. himself. I like most sodas, um, but I don't drink soda a lot either yeah it's, it's a lot of, it's a fuck ton of sugar like i you, me gerd can't i can't do all that sugar you know best cereal die. hey best cereal can we do a cereal tier, tier list i don't like list? cereal anyway that's my hot take i don't like cereal that is a hot take i, a hot I take. like shredded wheat and honeycombs but i don't put milk in it i just eat it dry I mean, that's weird. I mean, that's not the weirdest thing in the world, though. Honeycombs are I've so old, though. I haven't had those since, like... I've had some people tell me I'm, like, a psychopath for that. But, like, I no. like the shredded wheat cereals, and I'll just eat it, like, snacks. Like, I won't eat it, like, shit? dry. Dried yeah. oatmeal. That's, that's psychopath shit. I don't Dried know if I've tried it. I don't know how, like... I've had... I've had I know people that have... That eat specifically dried oatmeal. That shit is... Fu- that is psychopath sh- behavior, my brother. Hey, you people that put ranch on your pizza, tonight's oh, the night. You're not making it past tonight. Uh, I used to do that. And then I look at him real- now. <laughs> 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 yeah. And See what happens, kids. Nothing went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, Are you going to wear that shirt out in public from that? Is this like a one time bit or, or is it like. You got me an XL, first of all, pussy. I'm like a I two or three sh- X. I wanted, I want, I like big ass shirts. I didn't know. I thought, see the thing, I was looking at the sizes. So I run the shop, which you um, purchased stuff for me. But the thing is, because it's print on demand, I don't actually know what your size is from ordering it. I just see the order and how much, I see which design it was and how much money comes from it. So I tried, my first thought was, I'm going to open up my order history and see what size you ordered. Didn't happen. So I had to guess. And I was like, I feel like Ben might be an XL, but my thought was like, he might be offended if he's like a medium or a large, and I send him this, an XL. This shirt. guy's a fucking medium. I've never seen you in person. I guess I only see I your be face like this big and you'll never video. know. <laughs> exactly. So in my mind, I was like, I hope the XL like isn't too big. It was going through my mind. Uh, it was too small, actually. So. Well, if you want to correct size the version, it's available on my shop if you want to give me more money to recoup my cost. <laughs> so my camera can it randomly goes into 15 FPS and I want I want to like I want to fuck with something, right? Yo, does this look cool? Does it look funny? Does it look like a monkey, like a funny monkey. Leave us a comment if he leaves leave us a comment if it looks like a funny monkey. <laughs> it looks funny, doesn't it? Because I'm in 15 FPS for some fucking reason. This, I think this, you look fine, dog. This webcam looks like dog shit, dude. I hate this webcam. I'm going back to the Brio. No. Um, if anything, route it directly to Discord. Or this is off the air talk. Never mind. Whoa. Whoa. whoa, whoa I look whoa, much whoa, like whoa. I look like a like a you know how they depict the giants in shows where they're like very big with like small arms and a small head. That's what I look like just there. Right? I can't wait for Vomit Fest when everyone gets to line up and touch your tummy. <laughs> As think- someone that doesn't like groups with large amounts of people, would that be like a genuine panic attack moment for you if I organized a line of like a hundred people that are lined up That'd to be great. your tummy? If they were there would you, to, would you to, be down? If they were specifically there to, to, go, to give me a little uchi 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 on my tummy, I'd be so happy. Your girlfriend can be there too. Why? I mean, she could not be. It's whatever she, you want. She could, she could do like the, the flag. She'd be like, "All right, go." Hey, bluegrass you, underscore you, official just liked our Instagram reel. I haven't been paying attention to Instagram at all. I forgot honestly until you just said that. I forgot that we had one. It's very sporadic. It's like, it's very sporadic. It's weird. Mm. Like our most viewed piece of content anywhere is on Instagram. But also, I'll upload a video and it'll just get zero views or twenty views or something. And then every now and then, one will get like five thousand. It's just very bipolar. And there are never videos that do well on TikTok or YouTube, by the way. Too, they're always random. like the ones that don't. Yeah, I don't know why Instagram pulls those. Do that one more time. Oh, cool! Go on, go on America's FBS? Got Talent. 
Go on America's Got Talent. I'm so mad at this fucking camera. I know it's something I'm doing wrong, but I'm going to act like it's the camera's fault. I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad. <clears throat> we'll work out these kinks, and then we'll come back with a better show. You had you brought up a kink earlier, and then you said that I broke your spine or something. Oh, yeah. He blows my back out. <laughs> um. <laughs> so what, what are your thoughts on, like, this is meet the elite couple uh, breeding to create a new generation or something. Oh, you, you, the tweet that is going to be like three weeks outdated by the time that this episode is out. Buddy, everything we do, I do the news on this show and I take, they're all news articles from a week or two ago today. And then it takes two weeks for it to come out. So by the time the episode airs, the news segment is already at least one month old. Yeah, but like nobody actually like this. Do you okay? Do you think that there's <laughs> someone going into b- bad news? Do you think there's someone going into bad news? Like, I need my scoops for the day. No, I've actually had people accuse me of making up those stories. Who? I posted one on Who? Reddit um, when we were first starting out doing it. The one that has like almost 200 views or whatever, I posted that one on Reddit. I deleted it because it got flamed for a bunch of shit. But um, people who apparently random strangers didn't like it. Um, but uh, all the criticisms were weird. One of them was people were complaining about what the fuck is this? The lighting is horrible. And it's like, I didn't Based. have control over that Based, at the time. Yep. Um, but then one of them was like, they didn't believe the news story about the guy getting banned from all libraries. It was a real news story. In fact, I found it on Reddit. Like it was a real genuine news story. But a lot of people were upset because they thought I was just making up news stories. They're all a hundred percent real. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, and I think I saw like one comment on one of the ones I shorted um uh, or put up on shorts of uh, someone being like, This is the fucking fake ass shit or something, and I'm like, Nope. It's our, it's a real story. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't want to save links. Should I save links to all of them and put Dude, it in the your description? Sources, I don't know. What the fuck? Yeah, but I'm not that fucking professional. Yeah, who cares? Did you are, bring are, any bits today? No. No. I can I can I can do like a stand up bit though. Like on, right now? Yeah. Do it. <sighs> okay, hold on. You you brought this on yourself, dog. Um Oh wait, if my delay keeps flipping. Wait. <gasps> my fucking god. <laughs> it's the end of the show. One ghost stories. One scary night. On the third. Are you okay? I can't see. Just go. You're fine. You're live. Okay. Hold on. I got to put it between my legs. Uh, what do you call it? Um, what is, what is the name of a, in Spanish, what is, what do you call a pencil sharpener? Cajones. Sacapuntas. I, I need to learn Spanish. It's not the language yeah, I, I know. know. I know. Um, I lied, actually. I can't do one. Okay, that's fine. That's fair. <laughs> I respect you giving it a shot. <laughs> what a, this I respect your honesty. Is lighting look good? Yeah, when it blocks your whole face. <laughs> now, hold on. Can't head lower. Like there you go. There you go. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. On the looks like you're reading a teleprompter. <laughs> it does look like a reading a teleprompter. Um, <laughs> do you ever watch? Do you ever? Did you ever watch the the uh, the uh, roasts? The Comedy Central roasts or whatever. Yeah, Jeff Ross. Yeah, and people are just reading off a teleprompter, and another, and, and they're it's they're re- like it's a sh- it's like Shaq. He read he read like this. He's like. Uh, Mike, the situation looks like a dumb uh, bitch. He doesn't even have good hair, or like you know, he he was just read straight up reading like a fifth grader off a teleprompter. <laughs> My eyes are. Let me get everyone. 
This, this is what I'm talking about. Are you still going? Look. <laughs> Perfect. I've never seen you look prettier in my life. I can't see. I want to see something really cool, actually. No. Look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. That look cool. Yep. Oh, cool. Yep. Nope. That's the coolest I've ever seen you, dude. You did it. You won. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to lie to you, Zach. Sean's not coming on tonight, is he? Oh no! He, I, I, he messaged me. Can't. Sorry. Yeah. I Good. That, I classic some, episode. Yeah, I think that was some virgin shit, to be honest with you. This is a classic Ben yeah, and, ben that, and like, Zach I think, adventure. Honestly, I think that the... <gasps> honestly, Did I you think break that your the, microphone? No. You wish. Um, <laughs> you, do you ever read any uh, uh, Dr. Seuss when you were a kid? Well, he's canceled now for putting a racist-looking Chinese man in one of his books. I was watching some video, and I forget what it even was. But they were talking about like the most uh, someone had said like the most discreet ah, fuck I'm butchering this someone had was talking about like X event was the most disgraceful part of American history and the other person in the video corrected them and they were like actually I think it was once we were aware that slavery was wrong having to even argue about it and have the civil war over it but then me as a viewer was thinking yeah, how about like slavery, like as, as a, a whole? As a whole, yeah. Like, I don't think we just woke up one day and we were like, "Oh, oh, you're right." Oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, makes sense now. Yeah, slavery was right. bad, right? Like, there were people out there using like race science to try to like dehumanize other races. Like that definitely existed, but they they knew. You know what I mean? Like they they enslaved other people. They could yeah. speak the same language. Yeah. I I, I we don't... wouldn't treat a lot of animals like that now. We do, but like, you know, we at least have a fuss about it. Speaking of that, funny enough that you bring that up. What the fuck were you and Steve talking about for hours <laughs> after the last episode? <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Did he tell you about that last night, or did I, you just see it? I saw, I saw it the night of the. I don't know, it was the night of, or I, I don't remember, but I, I, I saw it or heard about it. So, um, for everyone unaware, the last episode was we got drunk. We got drunk. We drank. So I was drunk, and this man named Steve, who I'd previously never heard of, comes on, and he says all sorts of things I'd never heard before. He eats stuff we would never even consider food. He eats crows. He eats carp. He claims to be the last registered crow hunter in the state of Connecticut. This man's traveled all over the world. He makes hundreds of thousands of dollars. And we're in the we're in the show, and he is just he is just saying um, just wild shit. Remember when he was like, mm -hmm. "Oh yeah, there's there people over here today, and they were drinking and wanted to drive home, and my roommate didn't want to let him go." And I said, "Ah, let him." <laughs> Yep. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yep. he just said stuff like that. Yep. So everyone leaves. I'm drunk. I got nothing going on. And Steve, Steve, I don't even know who kept talking. Knowing me, I probably could have just not shut the fuck up. But uh, he also had the similar thing too. Um, and I don't know why. When did the show end that night? Uh, we recorded for three hours at nine thirty, so like midnight thirty. Yeah, which is three hours behind to me. We talked until like 1 a.m. my time. We talked until like That's a long, 2 to 3 a.m. And you know, what's, you know what's funny as fuck to the, about that? Is that Steve left Discord and the camera on <laughs> at Barney's desk all, all night, overnight. Which is pretty great. That's pretty, that's, yeah. that's pretty awesome. He didn't know how to disconnect, um, I guess. Well, it's funny. I don't know if he was just drunk or isn't technologically inclined or whatever, but I was showing him because we both took trips to Iceland somewhat recently and I shared my screen and I was showing him on Google maps where I was in Iceland. And I, Steve, if you're listening to this, I love you. This is no put down. He wants to come back but, on. Oh yeah. But he was like enamored with how I fluently I could use Google maps. He was like shocked that how well I was able to show yeah. him street view yeah. on Google maps. He could have just been drunk very well. Could have just been drunk, but I thought that was, that was funny. 
It would, um, dude, it was about him traveling his job and everything. He was, he's an interesting person. I like Steve. I, I like Steve too. I saw him. He, I, I, we, so we went out with a bunch of guys last night. We went bowling or whatever. Oh, yeah, put up the pictures. You took good pictures. Yeah. So I only, I only took those two pictures specifically for you, but I thought it was funny that Steve and Sean were in the same place after having that, like you, you, you put it so well. You're like, you guys, you guys came to like a crossroad. You're like, you have the same opinions, but you came to like a, like a, like a fork yeah, in the road. They, they, they both came to a fork in a row where they both acknowledged the mistreatment of animals in our society. And they both took complete opposite paths towards it, resolving that issue. And that's very funny that you, cause it's true. And, um, so I took a picture of them and them shaking hands, which I'm sure was on the screen, but, that, <clears throat> but I, I had, it was awkward. It was funny because Tron was actually leaving and I was like, come inside. I got to take a picture for Zach. And so I had him and Steve mm. come inside to, to shake hands in the house. Do you, um, so in terms of, of is, it, is it Steve? Is that his name again? You said it I know I just said time. it like a billion times. Yeah, I know Steve. that's correct it's though, Steve. right? Yeah, okay. Steve. I don't know why I needed that again. Um, so uh, towards the end of last episode, I said, please, please, please come on and eat crow. And he said he would do it. And I still think that's excellent content. Is that bad though? Like, if we have a man eating crow on YouTube, is that like something maybe we should not it's do? Just, like, just for it's like just a game meat, isn't it? That's I don't think that matters. I don't know. I don't know. I want. A- I want this, by the way. But I, my mind overthinks stuff, and I was thinking for a moment. I was like, what if like YouTube doesn't like we like need a, crow, a lawyer like being cooked? We need like a. I can be one. We need, well. We need like a like a woke lawyer i can start reading we, well, a woke lawyer yeah to like to know like how far down the not woke we go like it's fine to be not woke for certain i, I to some degree but like someone we can call into the show and like check up on an idea like, hey, with and see if we, we get canceled eat, or not can we eat crow or can we have someone eat come on the show and just just to eat crow do they say yeah but i want that though i, like, I, I talked to zach about it. I, I talked to steve about it last night I was like, he was, uh, he was like, yeah, dude, uh, the podcast was actually really fun. And I was like, yeah, you coming back on to eat crow? And he's like, yes, I'm very excited to do that. So it's Good. happening. I love it. I love that. I love everyone that's come on the show and I don't want to put anyone down, but I do in my mind, the, the premise of this podcast is that it's kind of like a freak show. Like I think everyone that's came on this show is like not a normal person. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Like absolutely. we're all weird in some little way. And I do kind of like the revolving door of sycophants just coming through and showing their true colors. Yeah. I, I, every time I think about it, I more and more appreciate the, the show being open mic. I, it, it's like a little bit of an open mic. It, it brings in a, uh, or open invite, I guess is the right term, but um, it brings in a bunch of characters and I, and I love that. Yeah. I do know that like with Ethan and Ben though, they don't want to come on when there's a lot of people and I know that kind of throws them for a loop. So I'm not sure what the solution is there a hundred percent. And if we were to have like Isaiah on again, it's like, I don't know if I want to throw him in with a bunch of people just, you know what I mean? Like what I'm trying to say, like that's something too, that I'm trying to think through. I, but think, I do like that. This show is completely open. I think that because th- our new show uh, is going to, I think they would be great guests on our new show is what I'm saying. Mm, Indi- so you think the new show would also have guests. Yeah. I mean, not, it, it's, it's not open invite. It's closed invite, but yeah. Mm. So I think that would be, I think that would be good. That makes sense. And, and <clears throat> cutting this out, <clears throat> but yeah, but yeah, I, I think they'd be great. Uh, all, uh, each of them would be great guests on our new show coming soon. Maybe probably not. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, um, I really like talking to people that I've never talked to before and people getting bet- to know people better on an, on a, on a public you know, kind of platform, uh, you know, that I, that I, you know, like Steve, like I didn't, I didn't know his takes on all that stuff, you know, prior to that call. Like I, I don't see for years, see Steve for years. Uh, I've known him for the past like seven years. What have I you seen him eat? Um, previously, what I already eat before like a burger. So he does eat burger. He does eat burger. I think he's full of shit. Guys, he, Steve he, eats burger. He, <laughs> he said he was like, I'm not going to eat anything that doesn't have an animal on it. And I I think that he is hamming it up. I truthfully think he's hamming it up. Yeah. 
I don't think that he, I think that he absolutely eats like fucking yogurt or he whatever. bread. Or like, bread. Like a slice of bread. Um, yeah, like, come that, on. I would kind never of eat fucking yogurt. It yeah. comes on disgruntled. What are you saying? Oh, go on your podcast <laughs> saying I eat yogurt. I'm going to start a beef with Steve because I said he eats the yogurt. Yeah, um, Steve. Come on and defend yourself. <laughs> Tell me you don't eat yogurt. Um, but getting getting to know my friends better, you know that I that I haven't heard these kind of opinions on, or getting to know, yeah, your 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 crew, very very good. Are you playing around with a sort of box cutter knife multi-tool. open thing, multi tool yeah. even? Yeah, a little multi tool. Um, you ever play Destiny one or two? Uh, yeah, I play Destiny one. You know, you hear about the might? You know the might? The might emo- Nope. The Mita multi tool? Yeah, that's the powerhouse of the cell. That's the c- circumference. Wait, the nucleus. Right? I was a microbiology major. Were you? I know this is, I, I genuinely was, but this, this is not, you don't need to be a microbiology major to know that the mitochondria, mitochondria. is the powerhouse of the cell. I forgot everything science related because I cheated and I cheated. My goal when I was in college was to be a scientist. What a cringe goal. Well, when I was younger, I did. Again, I wanted to be something creative and I did stand up and all this stuff and we made YouTube videos and everything. But when I went to college, I thought like I thought it was embarrassing to pick like film or communications as a major or something like to spend all that money to do it. it so is. I said, what, what is the most interesting thing I've done in school? And when I was in high school, I, you know, I hated school, but I do have to give credit to my high school in particular, because they had a biotechnology program and it was a dual enrollment course, meaning it was a college course. And I got college credits for taking this course in high school. And we did, um, it was a genuine lab. We genetically modified, um, bacteria in that class. We got to write papers for scientific journals, or I started the process of writing papers for scientific journals in that class. It never truly got published. No cap. No cap? <laughs> cap, cap, total cap. <laughs> um but 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 yeah, no, that I, I'm gonna get interrupted again. This is you're never gonna hear about it again. But um yeah, no, that that course was super cool. Um I was doing genuine research and genuine like lab work, and then when I went to college, I was like that was the only time I've ever been on like the cutting edge of anything, right? Mm. Like they were teaching me things like we don't know this. We're going to teach you the techniques we're using to figure this problem out. And you got to be involved in those problems. And when I went to college, I was like, that's what I wanted to do. Like that was the thing that interested me the most out of school. So I took microbiology classes and like, I was trying to, I took a few like ornithology classes too, because I really like birds. I like birds. I got some nipple in I that like shot. Birds. Oh, those are two little hummingbirds, the yin and the yang hummingbird. I own two birds. I volunteered at bird shelters. So I was either going to be, my thought was I was either going to be a microbiologist or some kind of ornithologist. I, I cheated in, uh, I, I think I just passed biology, but I cheated in chemistry in, uh, because I was an AP chemistry and uh, it, uh, they didn't have enough space in the room, so I was just on a, a computer in the back of the room, and I would just play old school RuneScape and look up the answers to the questions. Mm-hmm. Audio version is going to love this. Are you guys like actually doing something? <laughs> no, we're just hanging out. We're just hanging cool. out. Cool. Hey. Same. Hi. Hey, uh, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Is this uh, Bongo Bunja or whatever the fuck is Chumby Wumby? Yeah. Chumby Wumby. That, that was pretty close. Yeah, hey, I you remember Chumby Wumby. How's the sewer doing? How's the sewer? Tr- how's sewer life? I'm actually, 
I'm actually in a freaking hot tub right now. Fucker. Oh, move it up in the world. Where yeah. are you in a hot tub? Where am I in a hot tub? It's still in a sewer. Mm. Did he put us under the water? Nope. He, he oh, put us I under could, the water. I could do that. Do it. <laughs> That's sick, actually. Wait, he can put us under the water. Wait, can you put us under the water? <laughs> What the fuck do you want? <laughs> can you put us? Can you put us under the water? I want to want to hear you. <laughs> oh, chubby one, but you don't have to go under the water for us. It's yeah, I won't. There. It's um, it's 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 too much. I'm I'm sorry if that that's too forward. That's like asking to do anal on a second date. Yeah, Isn't that's that right, too, much too, much too much commitment. Too much commitment. Too much commitment. Yeah, you can't get stretched like that. From the, yeah, the you can actually get, you can get strep throat from that. Is what you can get. I think not. I think that's wrong. No, um, you can. You don't live in a sewer, buddy. You can oh, get strep throat in a sewer. Is, okay. Wait, I wasn't listening. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys ever have strep throat? the turtles. No, I've never had strep throat. I've had how bronchitis. are the turtles? Yeah, how are the turtles doing? Didn't you have? Yeah, some they're chilling, man. Bro, I don't remember Chumby Wumby. I don't remember what the fuck you talked about when you when you joined. How come I'm remembering everything about Chumby Wumby? You had more interaction with him than me, and I'm remembering more about Chumby Wumby than you. How does that work? Chumby Wumby, what? Chumby Wumby, do you feel disrespected by this man and how he's greeted you so far? Yeah. Tell him how that makes you feel. Well, Chumbi Wombi likes to feel rad, and I'll tell you what, this guy doesn't like, this guy isn't making Chumbi Wombi feel too rad right you know now. Rad- hold on, hold on, Ben, he's saying you don't make him feel rad, I think you gotta show off your new hair. I was gonna say, that looks stupid. It doesn't, isn't that wait, it doesn't, literally doesn't look stupid, it looks great actually. Yeah, that's pretty rad, actually, <laughs> that's pretty rad, I right? think. That's right there is rad? That right there is rad, right? He looks pretty rad. Is it, look Am pretty I right? Rad? Is it ra- radical? Looks like part of my eyebrow is purple. I was going to say, I think you accidentally dyed your eyebrow purple, you fucking goon. Is it red? Is that red, Chumby Wumby? Dude, you look like a lesbian. Dude, look at my shirt. Wait, there's a shirt? Does a lesbian wear this? It's my bad, name is Ben Poke... Ben Poke... Ben Poke... Pokemon. <laughs> That's, That's a, thumbs up. They sell those? Yep. Yeah, I was at a store actually. It was that like, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Pay less. <laughs> now, yeah. Chumby Wumby, the last time you saw our good friend Ben here, he looked, I wouldn't say normal, but he looked, you know, average, right? Now, d- looking at him now, are you concerned? In what he doesn't way? remember your name. He doesn't remember things about you. His physical appearance has changed that much. He's wearing a t-shirt with not only his name on it, but his name misspelled multiple times on it. That's true. That's true. You're you're saying that you think he has he's going through like a little bit of a uh, of a of a freaking mid midlife cri- a midnight crisis. I think he, maybe he might be going through a bit of a midnight crisis. Um, and I think I don't know. Like that's I know you're not. Right around midnight, whenever you just kind of think about, you know, <gasps> I gotta, uh, yeah, you know, you're freaking out. You're like, I gotta get a motorcycle, man. It's Twelve o'clock, and <laughs> you I wake need up. One. You wake up <laughs> a, out of your dream and go, "Fuck, I need a motorcycle right yeah, now." Yeah, you wake up in just a in a pool of your own sweat, and you're just like, "I need to get a." I hope the Harley dealership is open. <laughs> I hope the Harley has lease options available this late. Uh. So I'm just saying he clearly is misremembering a lot of things right now. And I don't think it's anything against him, but he's clearly not making you feel that radical. And I'm yeah, just saying, he said rad. Rad. he's not making you feel that. I mean, we haven't seen a man look this radical since nine 11 and, <laughs> and, and he will look and, good with a but he's not making right. you feel rad. So maybe we got to do something about that. Yeah, because I'm just trying to chill in a hot tub, man. Speaking of, do you guys do you guys mind if I start the Jets? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Go, it? do it, do it, do it, do it. Okay, sure, okay, yeah, absolutely. 
to make more of a noise than it did before. Do you pay rent in the sewer? No. I can't even hear you anymore, if I'm being honest. <laughs> okay, perfect. You know, you know, they you know, one of the ways that uh um no. I think men and women both find out about masturbation is through jets of a, a hot tub or some sort of like pool. Women for sure. Men can discover themselves that way. I think, you know, it, it, it can be a pleasant experience, but I think a lot of men, there's a lot of like straight men. Yeah. I mean, whenever might, John Plummy's uh, got clothes in his hot tub, he, he, t- oh, I, usually I got to tell them, Hey, you're sitting backwards right now. That's not the way you're supposed to be facing. You have other people that join you in the sewer for the hot tub? <laughs> yeah, it's a big, it's a happening place. Well, it's me, the Ninja Turtles, and then a lot Classic. of loose women. Like I loose as in like sewer, just sporadic? Like sporadic or just like they are looking at, they, they're fuck, they can, you can fuck them easy. <laughs> yeah, well, your words, buddy. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking, sure. Do you, I get. I was asked this earlier. Do you pay rent for the sewer, or is it kind of like a nah, man, like a van life situation? You gonna charge poop for being down here? I mean, I'm still I, stuck on the loose in this, women in this economy. Why not? You know what I mean? Yeah, and Brandon's America. Yeah. Poop really has gone up in price. Yeah, uh, dude. I went to a, a public restroom the other day, and there was a bowl with a big fat log of shit in it, and then there was a "I did that" Joe Biden sticker pointing into it. <laughs> Yeah, he, he did because <laughs> yeah, you know, I, mean, I feel like I feel like Joe Biden exclusively has like diarrhea. Like I don't think he actually like big solid shits. I don't think his body. See, the thing is, people think Joe Biden's this decrepit, dementia ridden old man, and you would think he'd have some loose shits based off of that. But I bet you that man probably dropped some logs. That's probably the you only time Joe he feels Biden the most clear in his life. I don't think oh, yeah. that man drops some I logs. Think it, I think it I don't. jolts him awake. I think that it's so much of a pain for him that he does his best thinking in the bathroom. It's so much of a shock yeah. to the system. Well, he has to have all the bills out as to give he's going speech. so we can sign him there. Think about having to give a speech just just having to take a massive dookie. Imagine like, turtling probably, in the yeah. middle of a speech. Yeah, I you mean... You gotta be on alert. Joe Biden, Joe Biden's in the middle of the speech and it starts getting pointy. And I mean, I don't know how you expect him to be able to stay focused. He might let a you ain't black slip out whenever you got to take a dump <laughs> like that. So that's something he said. Got, Wait, where did that come from? Is that something he said? Do you not yeah. remember that? It was a pretty yeah. big deal when he I said it. Yeah. For, he, he said, said it you, and then he. And then he rushed to a gender neutral bathroom. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Wait, please explain uh, this to me. I've not heard about ben, this. If you don't remember this, in the election, Joe Biden. I think he was talking it, to Charlemagne the God. <laughs> yeah, he was doing an interview with Charlemagne the God, hip hop uh, podcaster, radio host. And Joe Biden said, and this is not hyperbole, it's on video. It was a big controversy at the time. Said, if you don't know whether to vote for me or for Trump, then you ain't black. But I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. That was what Joe Biden said in an interview. I don't. I don't think that. Anyways, anyway, anyway, go ahead. Um, so, Chumpy, we've happens. got your we, Chumpy, Wumpy, we've got your full opinions of Joe Biden so far. We know yeah. where you stand politically. You have my now. full address. Yeah, we know where you stand politically on Joe Biden about his shits. Tell us about Kamala. Are you feeling better or worse about her potentially, you know, coming in after Joe? How do you feel about Kamala? Kamala, Kamala. Yeah, she shit herself? Well, I, that's why I'm yeah. asking Chumbi Wumbi. I don't want to, I, I want an unfiltered opinion here. Yeah, I mean, Kamala, that is what, Kamala does come in after Joe, after he's done with the latrine. And the thing is with Kamala, I mean, she's got a good diet, but there's just too much fiber. I well, mean, I I've, do want to come all over over that Harris. <laughs> yeah, I want to come all over that hair ass. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's hot, dude. That's, that's so wait, smooth. Would, you should you should just you, use that as a pickup line on any woman. How do you? <laughs> yeah. how, how do you tell me one? Be so you live in a sewer? Oh, are you Joe Biden? Because I want to yeah. come off. Are you a Democrat? You're yeah. a Democrat. Uh-huh. Cattle, you're a vice president. Hold on, nail it. Because I yep. want to come all over that hair, yep. hair ass. And he got it. Stuck the landed. Oh, landed. I'm proud of you, Zach. So you live in a you live in a uh, uh, sewer, right? Uh, yeah, buddy. So, so how do you do? You think like adding 
uh, adding to the shit that goes into a sewer, do you think that's a good or a bad thing? Does your shit go out of the sewer? Do you shit back in the toilet? Yeah, there's a second sewer for the sewer. Do people live down there too? Yeah, there's yeah, there's a Wombie Chombie <laughs> down there. <laughs> Is this like yeah, an endless these, pyramid scheme, yeah. multi level marketing? Yeah. How far I'm down a, the sewers do I'm we a, have to go uh, to reach the end? Yeah, well, I'm convincing people underneath me that if they just live in the sewer a little bit longer. It's going to be third. <laughs> well, my question, my question, my question is, Chombie's down there and he's evil. Well, wouldn't wouldn't you prefer not to have not to be overrun with dog like like with poop? No. So, I I don't know how to. I guess oh, my 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 point is is that if Listen, Joe Biden, buddy, sh- it's not just poop. There's pee down here too. Well, if Joe Biden shits himself and pisses himself, presu- presumably, uh, he would probably just throw that out. They wouldn't put it in the sewer. You know, who really shits himself, Joe Biden. Do you think Joe Biden shits himself? <laughs> <laughs> He is getting old. Yes, I'm, trying to, carrying I'm trying to start. I'm trying to start podcast beef, and I'm out here saying that <laughs> Joe Budden shits himself. Is this like? Is, are, is there any? Do you have any like reason to bring that? Like, just nope. I just I like to laugh. Uh, <laughs> Something about Chumby Wumby. Yeah, it's been a while like, since I really cracked up. Yeah, Chumby Wumby. It's been a little while since Chumby Wumby really got a good laugh in. Um. I want what? Joe Budden to chase me like I'm three teenage boys <laughs> in his neighborhood. <laughs> um, That's a reference. Yes, it is a reference. Uh, are, so you knew that one, but you didn't know Joe Biden said you ain't black. <laughs> I did. Yes, absolutely did. That's um, crazy. You know more about that, Joe. So, so Joe Budden, uh, he used to be a, in, in a group called Slaughterhouse. Yeah, mm-hmm. we're, we're, yeah and he yeah, may pump we're it up. Familiar. Yeah, pump it up. Um, question about Slaughterhouse to you, Chumby Wumby. Yeah, no, this is, I'm a good person to ask about this. So, you know the group Slaughterhouse? Yep, Rooster Five Nine, uh, Joel Ortiz, uh, uh, King Crooked, and, and Joe Bud and the Poopster. He knows, he, he knows the, every single one. He was the one. Poopster of the group. Crooked Eye, you know what I'm saying? Um, mm-hmm. AKA Fuck the Old Girl. Yep. Yep. That's what they said. Um, so, question. I uh, thought it. I, I was, I was trying yep. to make like an outhouse joke with slaughterhouse, it's just not coming. It's just not coming, dude. I'm sorry. So, what do you think about a group called Outhouse with Andre Three Thousand <laughs> and uh, See, and Joe Biden? You're the funny guy. You're the fucking funny guy. Uh, yeah, man, sorry, the Jets were coming comedy. back on. When you Didn't, turn the Jets on, you ever think about having a little dude named Benny near you? I can't hear you. The Jets are on right now. Yeah, you can't hear you. The Jets are on right no, now. No, like the football Jets. Nope, he's talking about the Jets of the hot tub. Nobody mm. nobody talks about how probably running Jets during a podcast isn't going to make my job too easy. I want to catch this fly. Yeah, you're, you're probably <laughs> right. But what I have to say is that I I don't know you guys ever you guys ever no. fall into like the the conspiracy theories of like uh, conspiracy theories of like jet streams and stuff. Oh um yeah I think I took one of those to Iceland last year. I can consp- a jet stream. What do you what did yeah. you bring to Iceland? Hot tubs can't melt still beams. Milt? Isn't that like a type of drink? A hot tub? Yeah, I've drank one. Bro, hot tubs are fucking disgusting. Am I wrong? Buddy, I you're telling tub. me I'm in a I'm in a hot tub in a sewer. Yeah, like you're gonna get like a yeast infection in your vagina. Well, I'm gonna get prep is what I'm gonna get. Hey, Chumby Wumby is gender fluid. Mm-hmm. He's he's sitting I know, in some. all sorts of gender fluids up in me. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh no, I don't know. Um <laughs> Dude, how did you feel about the uh, Bud Light cans, um, Chumby Wumby? Does that make you feel good? Make you feel seen? Well, I mean, here's the yeah. I mean, here's the thing. I I thought um, I thought it was so brave of Kid Rock to to miss that Bud Light can like forty times before he blew it up. So 
Yeah, you know, a lot of people are throwing out their bud right now, but a lot of it, I mean, that starts going down in the sewer, and I'm having a party with Mikey down here, and it's just, I mean, it's really been a good time more than anything. Who is yeah. Mikey? See, I was, Mikey I was on the Turtles. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Bullish Easy am I. Party, dude. Rob I was really, cool, but rude. I was really excited when I first heard about the Bud Light cans. Jeans. Go ahead. And well, Leonardo, <laughs> I'm sorry, I cut you off. You go ahead. I was going to say Leonardo I, leads is what he does. Ben, get your girlfriend out here. Um, <laughs> when I first heard about the Bud Light cans, I was really excited because I heard they put John Mulaney on a can. And I wasn't quite sure why uh, everyone was upset. But then I found out. You guys remember Obunga? No. You guys don't know Obunga? No. What memes do you know? You know, do you know? Do you know Bad Luck Brian? I, I know Bad Luck Brian. You know, you but know, I think there might be. I I don't know what Kabunga is or whatever, but I think Kabunga, there might be. A, dude? I think there might be oh. an oceans of difference of knowledge between Bad Luck Brian and Obunga. Okay, Bad Luck Brian. You remember like Scummy Steve or whatever the fuck his name was? Scumbag Steve. Yeah. Scumbag Steve. Remember Scumbag Steve? Yes. Do you ever advice animals? I remember scumbag. Did you guys have? Yeah, did you guys do have an? Did you guys have a high school memes thing going on when you were in school? Oh, vaguely. We had my whole school get us together to do a Harlem Shake. Oof, that's 2012 as fuck, bro. Yeah, and then somebody. That happened. Yep, I do. I did hear about that. Yeah, I did hear we about cut that. Cut that from the last episode. That's yeah. crazy. I thought that only. I thought that only made it to the sewers. <laughs> made it to the what does that mean I just didn't think that's the what dude. rappers come out of yeah, Jumpy yeah. Bobby, when you hear that rappers made it out of the sewer made it out of the mud do you know a lot yeah. of rappers before they came up yeah Bubba Sparks lived down here for a little bit anyone else just just Bubba uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of other southern white trash <laughs> hip hop artists <laughs> Yellow Wolf yeah he was down here for a little bit How was Yellow, Yellow Wolf, Wolf, Yellow Wolf was getting Yellow have got really good at crocheting the Confederate flag. Mm, in he was the trying mud, to start his own business. He was trying to start his own business down here, but little did we know that he had some funky fresh rhymes he had to get off. Apparently, you cannot get it off your chest, I guess. I don't agree. Oh, okay. <laughs> what the fuck do you know about it, buddy? <laughs> I don't know. I, I just, just trying to play the devil's advocate here. Can you kill the fly, Zach? Kill the fucking fly. What do you want me to do? You want get me to one of those, right get one of those, zap, get one of those zapping motherfucking tennis rackets to hit the fly. You want a bad episode? You want, you you want me to, we've already made it. at that, that point. But you want me to go out and, fu- you want me to go, leave the show right now to source an electric tennis racket and you want me to start hitting the walls and electronics if in you my don't room have one, it. If you don't have one at your hip right now, you're losing it, me. You ever talk to yourself? Yeah. You pick your nose, right? Everybody picks their nose. And they they always say, don't pick your nose, but everybody picks the boogers out of their nose. Said that like Donald Trump. D- am I wrong? Everyone says, everyone says, don't pick your nose, but we all pick our nose. I was picking my nose in the car today, and it was awesome. And I got so many boogers out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys ever pick your nose? They call him Booger Ben. <laughs> no, call me Booger Ben. <laughs> At least you're not like Ron DeSantis, who eats pudding with his fingies like this. Yeah, but imagine if he was picking his nose beforehand, and then he stuck his little fingies inside the pudding. You're going to tell me, you're gonna tell me you live imagine. in a sewer, but you don't eat fucking boogers? Or don't but not eat don't you. don't eat the boogers pick the boogers tell, stupid tell, Ben what do you, <laughs> do, with them you, eat what do, you do with the boogers when you're done with them I put them on the floor of my car <laughs> <laughs> okay all right man <laughs> I just, your body I just flicked them on the Jones movie. <laughs> I had so many boogers in my nose today. I took them all if, out. If, if there was an Osmosis Jones movie about Ben's body, it would look like Avengers Endgame with the millions of fucking superheroes <laughs> fighting each other at the end. <laughs> yeah, and 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 the autism is Thanos, and he <laughs> and <laughs> his body. The GERD fighting Thanos for the Infinity Gauntlet of Ben's body. <laughs> Uh, I don't understand why you guys are making fun of my gird when I talk about my boogers. 
Hey, I hold McDonald's French fries out the window to let them cool. That's not. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> something to make fun of. But he just openly admitted to how he's picking his nose and covering the floor of his car <laughs> and boogers. How you don't pick your nose, chumby wumby, and you live in a sewer in a, in a in a gender fluid hot tub, and you don't pick your nose? <laughs> that's the worst that you can pick up as I pick my nose my with my GERD and my autism. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty bad, man. You gotta, you gotta outdo all my shit. You make Jumby Wumby's life sound like it's pretty no, fucking no. Baller, me, me it sitting, me, my, my gird ass, picking my autistic you got nose. Ass? <laughs> I noticed. But I, sometimes when I fart, it does sound like I have a little gird ass. But no, when I, when my gird ass, when Wait, my gird no, ass is no, picking no. my back, autism back boogers. What did you just say? I said sometimes when I fart, it sounds like I have gird ass, but I don't have gird yeah, ass. What's, What's weird about that? Yeah, I don't know. Go go hang fries on the window. Flies eating my feet. <laughs> the flies eating your feet? Probably have stinky it's picking feet. Picking up my feet right now. No, I don't. I don't have stinky feet. Prove it. You know what's off? Look, Ron DeSantis. They're mild. I mean, they're mildly clean. Can you feel the bottom of your feet? What? Can Careful, f- he's setting you up. He's trying to make you tickle yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you that, there's, that there's the oldest trick in the book. You think I can't talk to dogs? I can. I'm not Show an idiot, w- bud. <laughs> Show me, Wombi, how long we got you tonight? What's your night look tonight? Who fucking knows, man? I just go wherever the wind blows and whoever needs to get fucked. All right. Okay. Uh, Do you think I- we need to... I'm not yeah. touching Bird Boy over there. I'll tell you what. That's Stop. crazy that you're doing Stop. that right now. Stop. Stop. Take it you off. Need, I said take it you off. Need make, <laughs> you need to make a woman clean that for you. <laughs> Wait, let's see the other one. No, no, we don't. <laughs> Why do you got like grass stains on the bottom <laughs> I don't of No, it's so it's so weirdly colored the bottom of my foot. I have no idea why. And just all the boogies that you keep <laughs> just getting all the on the bottom of your I feet. accidentally put my foot on them. I got all a bunch of the booger colors on my feet. That's Spe- yeah. That's cool, man. I thought I thought it was pretty cool, my little boogie feet. Want a boogie? Yeah, you got little boogie feet. <laughs> dancing shoes and boogie feet. Yeah, dancing shoes and boogie feet. That's what they call me. Boogie feet's the name of a good song, I bet, somewhere. Yeah, boogie feet is the name of a Motown singer that I used to hang out with. I don't know you knew anything about Motown. The fuck? You think Chumby Wumby? You think Chumby Wumby can't name all the members of Slaughterhouse and he doesn't know nothing <laughs> about Motown? <laughs> tell, me, tell me three of them. Tell you three of of slaughterhouse members i feel like i've done that where motown singers uh motown uh motown singers specifically sure boogie feet boogie jimbo feet. jones and the in the funk crew uh that was sort of towards the end you know motown led right into funk and then uh and then frocky fresh <laughs> not, in, not in creator clash too yeah but he was in motown so he can't be too upset that's actually sick that's a that's huge for him after stolen bikes three, <laughs> he really, huge. he really switched genres. <laughs> that's, that's that's good. So good for him that he's in the bustle and Motown scene. <laughs> stolen bikes four is a funk song. Um, they didn't think Froggy Fresh could have made it in Motown because he's this like uh, scrappy looking white boy. But yeah, I mean, they kind of found out that that kid's got the heart and that kid's got the funk, and they just said, "You get in here, white boy. You're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna make it big." Yeah, it, uh, he was. He did the. He did the fucking. He said, "Me and my friend Mac, or whatever the fuck, you know." You ever heard that song? Well, uh, huh? Mac, you want to do the news? Yeah. Let's do the news. There we go. Chinese colleges are giving students a week off to quote unquote fall in love as the country struggles to keep its birth rates up. Hey, Netflix, I think I have an idea for your next out of pocket dating show. I'm sorry, man. These jets, these jets are on a timer. <laughs> You d- Celebrity I, Cruises kept a passenger's you know, you dead going. body in a drink cooler for six days after it was revealed they lied about maintaining the ship's morgue. In other news, did you know cruise lines were supposed to maintain a morgue? 
That's crazy to me. I did not know that maintain. I didn't know that cruise liners had to maintain a morgue. I had to say that a little bit louder. Some of us have jets on right now. Celebrity cruises kept a passenger's dead body in a drink cooler for six days after it was revealed they were lying about maintaining the ship's morgue. In other news, did you know cruise lines were supposed to maintain a morgue? That one was pretty good, but I'm definitely going to need the next one louder. When you give a word, I can't, this next one's a tongue twister, dude. When you give a warm weed, it gets the munchies, say researchers from the University of Oregon. When you give a warm wait, 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 wait. When you give a warm weed? Yes, a worm weed. A worm weed. They made it, I think, when you give a worm, we get the normal weeds, man. Yeah. I would come all like that a worm. Oh, <laughs> when you, when okay. you, okay. <clears throat> Compose myself. This is the news. This is the news. People rely on this information. Right, right, right. When you give a, <laughs> when you give a worm weed, it gets the munchies, says researchers from the University of Oregon. I'm happy to see that they are still experimenting with at least one of the things I experimented with at my university. Oh, weed. So I was, I was, I was trying to, well, I was trying to understand why you would be experimenting with worms at a university. Weed, weed, worms, and then there's a third thing that my girlfriend would be upset. Anyways, um, yeah, all, he's all about three W's there. <laughs> What's the third W? Uh, um, it's not, not a W, my Women. friend. Women. At, 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 I'll tell you I'm what, happy that's that you, I'm happy that's what you believe. <laughs> as of last week, <laughs> as of last week, Indiana police will no longer be able to lie to children to gain confessions. What I want to know is if my offer for a T-R-E-A-T can now be turned into an L-A-W-S-U-I-T. Treat. I'm sorry, man. Suit. The Jets are back on. I, I, <laughs> this is so unprofessional of me. More Chinese migrants are coming to the U.S. on foot, officials say. I'm well, just going to tell you now, you're not being nearly loud enough. Get closer to the mic. More Chinese migrants are coming to the U.S. on foot, officials say. Well, this reporter would certainly like to see them try. Was that loud enough? Yeah, it's, it's, just, it's so weird. I don't know why they're doing it this much. It's probably going to happen a few more times. Texas man claims little boy... <laughs> Texas man claims little boy's ghost pushed shopping cart into his car, causing damage. This may sound far-fetched, but it's actually about as likely to be covered than... It, this may sound far-fetched, but it's actually about as likely to be covered than most incidents under an insurance policy. The, the, the joke there... I work for insurance. The joke there is that they're dog shit. Insurance is dog shit. Don't ever... Work, don't ever... You take it. Oh... A team at the unit at the a, a, a team a team a team at the New Mexico Institute of Mining and Technology are taking birds that have been preserved through taxidermy and converting them into drones to study flight. I don't know which idea is more concerning: reanimating corpses or that this study is really, really fucking stupid. Uh, I have the answer. That was the news. Oh, what was your answer? I got fixed. The Jets. That was it, I think. How do you feel, Zach, after that? My artistic integrity has been ruined. <laughs> I think that I can probably <laughs> artistic integrity. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I think I think that I could do a pretty sick uh, stand up routine right now. You hit us with it too. Yeah. Wait, let me look up Amy Schumer jokes again. Again, one of the we jokes. talked about her before. I don't think we've done her jokes. No, 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 no. Should I look up like a Kevin Hart joke and then see if I can do it better? Yeah, you could try. Try it. Okay, let's let's see. Let's look. I'll look. I'll go to YouTube Shorts and I'll look up Kevin Hart, and I'll try to see if I could do a Kevin Hart joke better than Kevin Hart. Try to sound like him. That would be good. What? Keep going. I'm Kevin Hart. And he's going to say a word that you can't be afraid to say. Does Kevin Hart say the N-word? I mean, I'm yeah, sure he has. Brave, man. Does he say it in his stand-up? Yeah, no, he's like super brave. He's one of the bravest comedians I know. One time. One time. One time. 
I like. Uh, that was too long. I like a woman with a head on her shoulders. I hate necks. I'm sorry. I was watching Kevin Hart. Yeah. Um, sorry. My my uh my my jets were on too. I have a lot of growing up to do. I realized the the other day inside my fort. I think YouTube Shorts is not going to work because I keep finding really long ones. Let's see. Kevin Hart's 13 Funniest Jokes, written by the Milwaukee Journal Centennial. Uh, let's see. If they're not one-liners, they're not worth it. <clears throat> Everybody assumes because you went through a divorce, you went through a fucked up period of your life. Your enemies you hate. Wait. You it's hate. crazy you're trying to do the voice. I can't believe you're doing that. Everybody assumes because you went through a divorce, you went through a fucked up period of your life. Your enemies. You hate each other. It's not true. She's happy. She's moved on. I'm happy. I've moved on. I'm happier than she is, though. Uh, love is like a fart. If you have to force it, it's probably shit. <laughs> so you're with the Kevin Hart, yeah. Um... No. My no. girlfriend is absolutely beautiful. Body like a Greek statue. Completely pale. No arms. Amy Schumer did that joke? No, I just looked at one-liners. I bought myself some glasses. My observational comedy improved. And do I need... I probably need work on presentation. Yeah, I think you could do something with like your arms, maybe. My arm is tired because I was bowling. I was bowling and I threw the ball really hard every time. (laughs) Everybody was saying I have have retard strikes. I'm I'm (laughs) proud of you, bud. I was throwing it so hard. You Uh, threw the ball so hard. I don't think I've ever seen somebody. You broke the gutters, man. I almost broke the pins and the gutters. And I threw that did so hard and my arms are sore. And I cannot, I can't be animated right now. I'm sorry. We're putting on a show, everyone. I hope you. What did the taco say to Michelangelo? Cowabunga, dude. I like your shell. You're looking up fucking. I gotta pick my nose again. Get the boogers on the floor. You looked up Family Guy Mad Libs two episodes ago. I was talking to pass. I was talking to Mikey right here. You okay? What did he say? Well. He said, what did the taco say to me? And then, and then I said, I said, what? Uh, I muted myself because the jets were on. And then he said, I like your show. Okay. Oh, oh, that's the joke. I like your show. Uh, what if I told you that when I pick my boogers out of my nose in my room, I go into my car and throw them on the floor? That'd be crazy. That's crazy that you will only throw the boogies and you're in the car for You wouldn't throw it out the window ever? I'm looking it's at your room. Question. It's crazy you think that that's too clean for boogers. <laughs> There's no <laughs> boogers go on this floor. Zach, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to I want you to help me close out the show. Can you do that? We're closing it out. You're closing it out. I gotta go to bed. We'll save polls for another episode. Yes, we'll save polls for another episode. But I want I want you to that's help me close the about them. What? Yeah, he's going to tell me all about the polls. But I, I don't polls even believe, honestly. Leading. I don't think that's true. I was going to say, I don't think that really makes much sense. All right, Zach, can you pick up your face cam pro right now? Okay. I'm gonna... I don't know how far this, this um, I don't know how far this wire will go. All right, Zach. I got really close to it. Like so. Should I take my glasses off? Yeah. Should they stay on? Do whatever you want to do, Zach. Oh, the fly was right there. The hell? No, no, do this. Do this. What if I just ate it whole and that was the end of the show? I drilled a little Forever. bit of that. That's all I wanted you to do, Zach. You can you can outro the show now if you want. This was your brilliant idea? That's all I had. This was your big brain 400 big brain. IQ? Yeah, that was all I had. Idea? Yeah. Unsubscribe. The show doesn't deserve you. You heard him. That's not. That would be nice. I'm going back to the center part you hate. And I'll do it. And I'll do it. And I'll say it again.
We all should outro <laughs> this with like a like a like a song. Can you help us? Yeah, I can help, but you're definitely gonna need to lead. My team. Ho, ho. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Oh, that's really cool. That, that looks like you, it went black and now it's going to like go to the outro.